NRG back in their home territory Ooh. of the grand finals here, facing off against FaZe, who just got disrespected on this desk after going seven games against Space Station. The desk predicted FaZe to take yeah. that one down, or to predict, predicted Faze, Space Station to take that one down. FaZe is the one who's here in the grand finals, facing off against NRG. How do you feel about this matchup, Turtle? I mean, first of all, I don't think there's any question as to which uh, eSports shop decal that the desk are rocking in game. I mean, this is un uh, unacceptable. First of all, everybody's got that NRG decal. We need to show some some love to these phase decals, get some support going their way. I know there's a lot of people in chat as well who maybe didn't vote who are behind them, but this is going to be a close one. If that last series told us anything, it said it's going to be Ooh. a physical gameplay. First of all, we got two <laughs> yeah. demos straight uh, into this first game from phase and that's what i'm worried about it's Ooh. the physical gameplay because phase clan every single player on phase loves to go for demos but if we look the other way on oh. nrg as justin gets that crazy goal line save the only person who goes for demos is garrett g he's got a lot of heavy lifting to do on the physical side here wave punk we'll see as justin finds one of his own in his own corner and here's scared g through the air looking for the guillotine first killer will clear to the outside and squishy now following him Wheel to wheel here into the corner. Gets taken out on the backboard. Ball locked in front of the goal. It'll be Justin on AJ. Ooh. Back off the backboard again. Here's Illusion for the shot. Pressure from FaZe in the beginning of game number one. A best of seven, best of three situation. You're going to be playing best of seven series, but you got to win two best of sevens yeah. to take the championship. Here's first killer for the shot on. Bounces off the crossbar and in for goal number one. And this is just so much aggression and brute force coming out of FaZe Clan in the first few minutes here. You can see off the backboard, two players from NRG look stationary in their own net. They can't keep up with the pace. And that is something that I, I do believe favors FaZe Clan, the speed. They've got such great mechanics. I mean, of course, NRG, you've got Justin, Squishy, Gary G. The mechanics are there, but the speed on the other side with First Killer leading the way, that is something you have to be scared of. Oh, first kill with a great pop, but the follow-up gets beaten by Garrett G in the sky. First kill though picks up the ground ball. It's off the corner. Here's first kill with another one. shot. This one deflected. Justin getting the save while facing the inside of his goal. How about it? Garrett G now out to squishy in their corner. Energy feeling trapped in their back half, looking for a clear to break out, and they'll finally find a little bit of oh. space. Garrett G gets the ball across the midfield line. And even when Garrett G does get the ball out, he gets demoed as a player flies by from face clan. First killer, maybe oh. the pinch that would have been unreal. Maybe the follow-up from AJ. I We haven't even had any time to warm up. It's just zero to 100% here, Wave Punk. Yeah, FaZe is carrying that Game 7 energy against Space Station yeah. right here into Game Number 1 against NRG. NRG having to pick up the pace quickly after sitting and watching that series. And right now they're trailing with half the game left to play in Game Number 1, but a marathon in front of them. Yeah. Guaranteed at least eight games across two series. And I mean, we could go as many as 21. It, to me, that's why I think a lot of people have NRG as the favorites here is just because of the length of this series. Yes, we see Face Clan popping off here in game one, and it's still only a one goal game. NRG can certainly bring it back. But uh, as this series goes on, we're going to have to see how NRG adapt and if they can match that speed and pace of Face Clan. First killer with a loft in the midfield. Squishy's up four. He's got nobody challenging him, and he'll take it to his own corner. Garrett G keeping this on the wall to try and chase it, but loses the ball, and Squishy will pick it up. Back to Garrett G. Onto the backboard now, and AJ will close on it and clear it the entire length of the field. Justin, the third man, will play it back to midfield. First killer advances, and a bit of ping pong back and forth as the players are keeping the ball high in the sky. No one allowing the, any dribble game to get going. Finally, it'll touch the ground after first killer puts it down into the dirt. And Justin now chasing this down. He's got AJ challenging him, tries to go underneath the him, fake. gets it underneath him, but Illusion's there, and he gets kind of stomped. Justin hauled onto the ground, won't be able to challenge that again. Yeah, we're talking about Justin. There's a lot of responsibility on his shoulders alone. I was talking about Gary G with the demos and the physical gameplay, but Justin coming into this grand finals on his team has been averaging, I believe, the most shots, goals, saves, and assist on the team. I mean, there's so much work that this player has been doing. We've got him now coming up on oh. offense. Maybe a double tap oh. lurking oh. as he looks for a 50-50. Two players went up for it from FaZe Clan, and now they have to recover, oh. and they do just that because the first killer and his incredible heroics on the goal line. Squishy and Justin are connected on the infield pass again. We've seen them connecting on aerial passes across this entire event. They had another one on that double tap attempt from Gar from Justin, but somehow Illusion reads the pass and double tap, knows where the bounce is going to oh, go. Oh, he doesn't read Justin that one, though. Dunk. Oh, oh, look at the block. First killer's back for it, and Garrett G's follow-up is too high. Justin trying to put the pressure on, but it's wide on the corner. 
Oh my goodness, just as you were talking about it, Illusion, he didn't get that final read. He got faked out and first killer somehow manages to get back in rotation. That's the second or third time just this game alone that he's got the goal line saved. But if he gets bumped, oh, oh. of course, he gets another one. They are still alive and in the lead. Oh, oh, oh. first kill. You can't get anything through him on the goal line. AJ now across the midfield line. 17 seconds left. FaZe hold on to a one goal lead, but it's not for NRG lack of trying. They have been oh, knocking on the door. And FaZe has been holding it shut. Eight seconds left. Justin's got to go the whole length of the field here. He's got players underneath him. He gets a flip reset, but won't be able to use it. And a double commit on his challenge. Squishy retreating into his own half. Can't wow. do anything with it. FaZe take game number one. And we always talk about First Killer and his incredible mechanics and how he is, he is an offensive powerhouse, right? But we forget to mention the defensive capabilities that this player does, in fact, possess. We just saw it firsthand on display in this game. Goal line save after goal line save, making sure his team can stay in the lead. That was consecutive saves back to back to back. Yeah. The first killer, he doesn't just make it look easy on offense. It's also on defense here, Wave. You make one save at this level and you're considered, hey, yeah. a good Just job. one of those well would have been great. <laughs> if you, if you, you just make the one save where like you did your job. It's now your teammate's responsibility. He made three in a row. The guy yeah. is rock solid, realized oh where his teammates were and said, hey, I'm still the first man here. I got to be ready for this one more time. The one goal, you wouldn't think, looking at the scoreline, you'd think this was a boring game. My goodness, yeah. eight shots from NRG, no oh, goals. Man. That's incredible. And I can only expect the shooting to get better, though. Uh, I think First Killer has his work cut out for him right now because even as we were looking through that replay package, the follow-up shots from NRG did seem a little bit weak. I saw Squishy come in sure. after the initial save. It seemed a little bit slow. If we can speed up the pace, the accuracy maybe a bit of these shots, which is not a difficult task for NRG given their striking capability. So hopefully as we get in here, we get a closer game. And I mean, that game alone was already so close. First killer, we'll see if he has what it takes to keep making yeah. those goal line saves. No, I think your, your point on the follow-up game is a really good one because energy is there. They're on yeah. the follow-ups. They're Absolutely. getting clean follow-up shots. Just the placement has not been quite accurate. So they need to find a way to keep that speed up, but actually get fully behind the ball and place it between the posts. Or we, we could have seen a blowout here with how yeah. many good follow-up shots they got. We'll Absolutely. see if they adjust here in game two. Well, we only really saw those towards the uh, the second half as well because at the beginning it was all phase. Oh. But look, look at what I'm talking about. They're warmed up now. NRG are ready to play at the same pace that we saw initially from Phase Clan. So maybe now is when we start to see those demos come out uh, since NRG have matched it. Squishy was looking for demos on that drive as Garrett put one on target, but everyone on Phase was able to dodge. We saw them hit the reverse, get around him, and then get up for the blocks. Justin putting oh. more pressure on in the air. Justin is getting, is bringing, he's baiting two defenders on every single one of these air dribbles right now, really creating an opening that's keeping FaZe pinned in their half as Justin's getting barreled down by two players here. His, his touch will go to the corner, and now he'll flick past Illusion. AJ will cover him up, and Garrett G now taking his time getting this ball out of his corner and goes for the ground pinch. Illusion's got the block. A lot of space here for NRG as they look to move out. Maybe off the backboard, nobody's there except for First Killer flying up. I thought somebody would be on the backboard. Positioning a little bit out of place, but there's a save from Illusion and the pressure has been back and forth. We've seen booming clears, just nobody willing to take that risk way punk and stay downfield. There's Illusion to the corner with Squishy there to challenge him. He's got Gary G right next to him too. The dual threat, AJ is able to just tackle it outright, get a pass across, but Justin out of the corner. An excellent clear as Squishy's looking for bumps. Justin to follow up his own touch. Illusion out of the corner will clear, but Justin nearly finds the demo. Couldn't quite touch his bumper. First killer and Illusion now in the corner. They get the pass across. First killer passes it back out to AJ and Gary G will block it at the point of contact. Well defended at the last moment. I mean, this ball's just doing laps right now around this stadium. Not one team can oh, hold possession oh. for too long. Maybe Gary G, but the touch is far too out in front of him. They are taking a lot of boost, though. I have noticed NRG, the boost control, the corners of FaZe Clan in their own favor. We'll see if that adds to any mistakes that we could possibly see on the defense. Squishy. Advancing to the corner with Illusion. Over the top of him now, Justin. Taking control, he's got two players, both ground in front of him. Just puts onto the backboard again. He baits two players. The respect mm. they're giving Justin is creating holes on his phase defense. But the follow-up game we talked about from NRG in game one has, I feel, have not been quite as strong. They're not getting like the one, two, three shots we were seeing. Yeah, we're not seeing the, the best uh, lineup either for that initial strike. Uh, a lot of times you'll see somebody mm. like Justin behind the ball or even Gary G just putting in 
a very strong shot, and then it makes an easier follow-up. They haven't even been able to get that first shot on target. And I think a, a big testament to FaZe Clan's defense is the fact that they've been keeping this ball out of their own half, and there's a clear with a demo mixed oh. in, but Justin then takes out Illusion, an eye for an eye, and they manage to break out. And a one challenge from Squishy with two minutes left to go in game two. No goals yet to show for it from either side. We'll see Garrett win one challenge. First goal's gonna try here, Garrett. Follow an awkward situation. And it'll ping out to Squishy. Back to the sky. He's gonna look for positional touches. Can he carry this all the way to the goal? No. Well, the challenge will go to the edge. Garrett G looking to set up Justin, who's hesitant in the third man. This will yeah. give Faze some space to move back down. They're looking for demos again. Oh, more man. pressure on off the crossbar. Garrett G up to block AJ and keep this game scroll. It's 135 left to go. Here comes NRG. And that play for FaZe actually developed from what you just mentioned, the hesitation from Justin as the third man. He was waiting to go in for a challenge and never actually committed. And when he decided to, it was way too late. Off the backboard, here he is again, looking for a clear towards the other side. And he's been very paranoid. I've been on his camera and he's been looking around Wavepunk, looking for demos, anybody to come and take him out. And that's distracting him from getting into rotation quicker. I wonder, what the, he's been going for these solid solo setups and then his team hasn't been right behind it to put the pressure on. I wonder if he's afraid of leaving things too exposed in the back or something. Not quite sure. It's Justin. It's demolished in the corner. Here's Garrett Gita looking for a double Garrett tap. Into the box. Follow up. Justin was trying, but I think he got Goomba stomped. Illusion now in the corner trying to dribble it out. 47 seconds left. Here's Justin through the sky. Up against first killer who gets it away. And Garrett G with a miss in the midfield. He'll look to back pass to Squishy here, but he's getting pressured by FaZe. Illusion will take him out and take over ball control. Onto the AJ. corner. Justin's up for it. Blocks AJ. First killer who's backwards. He won't have the immediate follow up shot. 33 seconds left. Now he comes in. Squishy plays it to the corner. Oh my goodness. NRG suddenly <laughs> feeling the pressure as Illusion's Bring in another one. Oh, AJ's there though. It's action packed. Maybe a follow up from first killer. NRG are standing strong. It looks Ooh. a bit shaky, but so long as they do get this ball out, we will remain scoreless here with only 13 seconds left. AJ behind this in the final 10 seconds. Gary G trying to take it away from him. Squishy into the corner. Illusion misses the ball, but Squishy fully expected the pass to Justin. The pass. First killer gets the block on Justin's shot. Follow up from Squishy. Back in front of the box. First killer keeps it alive. Gary G should kill this to the side. Illusion's going to try and keep it in control. Back in oh, the no midfield. Way. No way. AJ gets the flick on one. Squishy's up for it. Now back the other way. Can NRG take advantage of this? Do they have enough boost to the tank? No. We'll go to overtime Ooh. in game two. Even in the, those final seconds, you can see how threatening these teams are. With just one small opportunity, one little inch extra of space, they can make work. And we'll see. Face Clan stuck on defense off the kickoff age oh. day. You don't want to give him aerial oh. space. I mean, I remember back to that SSG series. 16 seconds left. Face Clan scored two goals to make a comeback and then win it in OT. You cannot give AJ any of that space. Phase has been able to come back from in many games that we expected them to be completely out of. His illusion is looking for bumps. I think he found two players in net. But Garrett G doing enough work on the front line to give them time to reset. And now up for this one. Somehow he wins there. that challenge. Justin's got an open net, just leaves it. But Illusion on the goal line, able to sweep in, take that away. And now looking for a counterattack all by himself. He's got Garrett G up for it. He'll play it to the corner. Looked like Justin thought that one was going to roll in, maybe went for the demo instead. Illusion had barely gotten back in time, but then first kill actually got bumped. Oh! If there's a player to take out, it is the one who won game one for FaZe Clan. First killer gets knocked out the way, and Justin secures it. My goodness, how Justin, even with first killer getting bumped, navigates those two defenders in front of him to get that ball into the net. I, I do not know. It's incredible stuff here, but NRG. Ooh. Able to take it down there. Squishy rocking the NRG decal. Find yours in the esports shop here. And we'll see Garrett G get the MVP of the game with four shots, two saves, and the assist to Justin. To me, if I had to give an MVP in this game, though, Justin was that player, even despite mm. the one hesitation we pointed out there up, yeah. at the end of the game. Yeah, he was making a lot of moves. And I noticed that he got more comfortable as this game went on. You could see him at the uh, edge of the map. Now, even in this play, as soon as we get into the replay package, you see Justin alone trying to make a play, a solo attempt there on net, maybe go for a flip reset. He's been doing a lot of this. And then behind the ball again in OT, he was the one who took the shot. Of course, you got to give credit to the demo and the bump attempt on yes. First Killer, who's the man you got to take out. If somebody's in net, you got to take out First Killer. And as long as you make contact, of course, NRG does secure it up and tie this series. So we have had nothing but action so far, Wavepunk. This is exactly yeah. what I expected. But even now, as I expected, I, I didn't think it would be this fast and this chaotic.
No, we're, we're privileged when we get a best of seven between these two teams, and we're going to get at least two of them, maybe three oh, yeah. of them. So Hopefully this is going to be a while. It's, it's, it's going to be crazy to watch how the action evolves over time, too, exactly. as the players adapt and as they get more either in the flow state or exhausted, because either one can happen here. So uh, this is going to be crazy. We're going into game three tied up at one apiece. Excited to see who, who's able to get the edge. And the question is, who is going to make a, a new play, a new uh, creative, I guess, pass? Something similar to what we saw before from NRG, where they were trying to throw multiple people at the net. We even saw a connection between, I believe it was Justin and Squishy. Yeah. We haven't seen too much of that from FaZe Clan. We have seen the mechanics. The aerial presence is, of course, there. But uh, I'd love to see First Killer and AJ get some passing involved here on the offense. Justin looking to bump first killer and pave the way for Garrett G. Unfortunately, Garrett G didn't have much boost to follow up with that, even if he did get the bump. But here's Squishy now with lots of boost and space. Pings this one across the box. And AJ trying to take control, but loses it. And then has plenty of space to take it again. We'll see Justin find a clear. Both teams just kind of conceding ball control yeah. the other way right now. Things just kind of slowed down instantly when we got into game number three. And that's something that happens a lot, in, especially in a, a long set like this. Things could flip-flop literally within seconds, you know, where play styles that were once aggressive just start to push back a bit. You have seen NRG hold that defensive line farther back in their own half. Maybe this is a new strategy they're trying to implement to make things a bit easier. We'll see if FaZe Clan decide to go for some dribbles with this extra space. Even there, you can see First Killer had plenty of space to go for a dribble and maybe slowed down that approach towards offense, but instead just decided to clear it right to the wall. Across the box, well defended. FaZe keeps it on the edge. And back to the corner, Justin with a nice tap on the wall to get it past two, and then a dunk to get it past the second one as well. Pollution trying to follow behind this, doesn't make contact. Garrett Ooh. G just sends it on target. Oh, is that it? oh AJ what? couldn't reach it. Garrett G just finds the hole and shoots. This actually keeps happening to face clan. I believe SSG got a similar goal. It was a 50-50. This one more of a dunk from Garrett G, but either way, positioning a little bit out of ordinary for FaZe Clan. Garrett G is able to smack that one home. When Illusion missed the first touch there on the wall, that told Garrett G everything he needed to know about depth perception oh. and that he could make that Ooh. shot. I'm amazed that FaZe didn't just tie up the game given how much space they had in that box, but they will still dodge it there. Garrett G is still well on that shot. Now looking for a second one here no in the he corner. What a read, okay. nearly there. Oh, the dual threat. Not going to get through first killer, though. Great offensive and defensive player, an all-star here on phase. Yeah, but a double commit then from NRG. The recovery is there from Justin. And even when there's a oh. double commit, it's crazy to see how fast Garrett G is able to get downfield despite the mistake that did happen on defense. But FaZe Clan, they are carrying this ball out. First killer now getting aggressive, Ooh. going for a bump on Justin. He does make contact. Maybe AJ can find a way to get this one into the middle, but Squishy read it, and they are denying FaZe Clan at every opportunity. Man, but that touch from first killer was insane as he's coming mm. back out, able to neutralize oh, there the it is. Oh, what oh. a save! You're kidding! Garrett G with the backflip just to reach over his back shoulder and make that stop. That was incredible. And they're holding on to their lead as we cross halftime. And I'm just getting flashbacks now to that the first killer game one where he's making those goal line saves. We see a little bit of that from NRG. Justin on the carry out. Look at the space. He's got so much to, to dribble and to find boost. Gives it away to first killer who instinctively just launches this one into the air. But I would love to see them keep this ball a little bit more grounded and see what they can do on that dribble game against NRG. Illusion to first killer. Two minutes left to go. Looking for the lead in the series. An open goal AJ? here. AJ won't miss. Takes that shot. Puts it home. Ties it up here in game three. And this all stemmed from the demo. Illusion extended his rotation, took out Justin, made sure nobody can get that goal line save that we've been seeing all series long, and they tie things up. It's a full-on meta at this point. Extend your rotation, swing through the goal, find a defender, yeah. and make it so easy for your shooter. Absolutely. So they've tied it up here now. It's a very risky you know, meta, it's a very risky strategy. So your decision making on when you go for the demo has got to be pretty much perfect. Because if you extend, don't get the demo and they somehow find a counterattack, you are left wide open on defense. You got to find, you got to like looking for the right spots of, okay, we have ball control on the side. He'll be able to get a yeah. pass. I'm on the rotation. I could choose to go back right away or I could choose to look for a defender. But given where the rest of my team is, this is the right spot to go for it. 
And that was one of those perfect moments for FaZe. Now AJ threw this guy up against Justin, gets over the top of him, Pretty squish sad. on the backboard, will be the next challenge, and he will win. First killer now looking for a Lucian. Garrett G, what a loft. The way he jumped coming out of his goal, he jumped very early, but it blocked so many of the options yeah. FaZe had. And now he's looking for a pass as first killer. And then you get the dribble back out. We saw an overtime in game two. We're tied up in the final minute of game three. Squishy up to Justin. They try oh, that's a, a huge one. clear. That was Garrett G. I think it'll be <laughs> wide. And Garrett G looking for a block, but first killer puts a lot of space on it. Illusion here just takes the shot. Squishy with the block across. And then the trap and dribble flicks it out to wow. Garrett G. Just into the midfield. Can they find the pass to him? No, blocked in the corner. 30 seconds left. And Garrett G is being carried by AJ. Here he and now he's going to be in position to get a pass. What? Okay, okay. Things That's are gonna what go I'm talking about with NRG. It's <laughs> like a mistake happens or something awkward, but their recovery is so lightning quick. They don't hesitate to get back into rotation. Maybe squishy on the pass to Justin, who does have Garrett G on the other side, but Justin went for the top oh. right corner slot. Oh. He was saved, but the pressure is still on from NRG with five seconds left. For Justin Ooh. with a stop on the counter attack. NRG, the clock has expired. Can they put it into the ground? Yes, overtime, two games in a row Ooh. now. As we continue, the winner of this game has the lead in the series. You want to think about who really earned their spot here in this OT. The Gary G dunk was impressive, but that demo play from FaZe Clan was something truly out of this world. They could replicate that again here. You can certainly see this overtime ending soon. First killer, maybe he's going to get the demo as he rotates around, looks for Justin, doesn't find it. And Illusion is left to get this pass out to AJ, who did beat the defender, but the accuracy was not there. It was right in the middle, and Squishy gets the pre-jump save. Here's AJ. Looking for Illusion. Blocked by Justin in the 2v1. By Garrett G off the wall. NRG's defense kind of stunted on the rotation. Garrett, uh, Justin just had to kill all of his momentum and just sit in front of the box. But they'll emerge with control out of their corner. Garrett G with a bit of space here, but AJ able to take it away from him on a dunk. Now first killer going to try and take it away from Squishy as well. And Justin all of a sudden just has to loft the ball and wait for his team to get back behind him. A demolition on the first killer will help, but Illusion's right there. Garrett G's challenge goes AJ. neutral and a cross. Well done. FaZe clutches up, chokes up on the bat and gets the winning goal. And it just feels so calculated. Illusion waited for that initial challenge out of Justin. Got the perfect 50-50 and then baited the second defender in. Illusion. It doesn't look too flashy from him, but my goodness, that was so well thought out and planned from FaZe Clan to get this win and go up in the series. Uh, the, 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 it took a whole team effort as well. This is, I, I, yeah. I think that that's been a staple of this entire series at this point. Every goal is needing multiple players. We have yet to see one player just pop off and find the, the, the clutch air dribble. There, there was one goal from first kill. No, I'm, I'm literally remembering against Space Station. He had first kill had a great air dribble in game seven against Space Station. That was not <laughs> this series. There's they, always they first are, killer highlights to remember too. <laughs> it's always first killer, exactly. No, no, but for real, I mean, Garrett G, you, you see him find the the kind of open mistake goal. But as mm. far as getting past a defense, it's requiring a whole team effort every time. And even that last goal was so impressive. And I love goals like that because you can see that it's it's communicated perfectly. Illusion went for that 50-50. And where was AJ? He was right behind Illusion and knew exactly how the play would develop. It was all well thought out, planned, calculated 100%. And you'll love to see that from FaZe Clan with this new roster still able to implement uh, plays and strategies like that that rely on team chemistry. Well, we'll go into game four. The phase up in the series. Two overtimes in a row they've had. Now, Garrett G tries to find a shot, but AJ hey, covers up the top corner, covering the high percentage shots. You know you're playing good Rocket League when that's where the pre-jumps are going. Here's Garrett G trying to look for it, actually kind of faking it out, and Squishy puts it onto the backboard. Justin, though, very far cheated up, not going to be able to make the play. Justin doing Bit of a car swap here. He's still driving the Octane, but new decal. Try and change up the energy. I'm telling you, he should just put on the energy decal. I think that would help the oh, most. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. I mean, that's what I'm saying. I mean, you can actually tell when a player is not necessarily frustrated, but, you know, it's the police placebo. Excuse me. You're trying to reignite something. Maybe a decal change would do them a favor here. As Lucian rocking that face clan decal. He has not oh. swapped whatsoever. First killer now going forward, looking to build something in the offensive side. Nice little touch here from AJ. I love the control and illusion. AJ and illusion, they have been a duo so far in these past few games. Oh, first killer oh. to AJ. I cannot believe this pass connected. What a play in front of the net to take the lead.
I was talking about Illusion and AJ, but talk about first killer and AJ. The flip reset around Squishy Muffins to set up the shot for AJ, the easiest placement he's ever had. And it looks so nice. Face Clan continue their march towards victory in this first series. You say it's the easiest placement he's ever had, but Squishy is covering that shot almost the whole time. It was incredible. Like like the 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 the, set, the flip reset setup was so beautiful, but Squishy right. still did so much effort to get behind that ball. The finally the shot comes through at the last at the the, the first second the Squishy was out of the way. That timing phase, well yeah. done. They have the lead in game four. A drop to the oh, outside. Justin, Justin trying to cover it, and AJ what? again in the way. What? AJ with a savior medal. We're not even halfway in the game four. I was on AJ's perspective, and I did not think there was a possible chance that he even got in front of the net in time, but he abused the boost button, flew from the corner across the net, still found a touch, and keeps them in the lead. Uh, NRG, though, it looks dangerous, but the follow-up shot, it's just not as accurate or as powerful as we might be used to seeing. It wasn't, there was a lot of, there was no power behind the shot. You're absolutely right there. And there was a bit of a double commit from FaZe on the first block, which opened it up, but then the positioning from energy just not there to capitalize on it. As G Gary G and Justin, offensive double commit, they need to hold on to control. This puts Justin in a position, Ooh. but AJ on the backboard again. He has been absolutely stalwart on the defense. His first goal is gonna loft up the post and get his one the whole way. Illusion sends the ball to the corner. Not sure if he was trying to take a shot or just trying to extend the play, but at this point, it's going to be NRG ball back in face territory. And we mentioned the corners, and one thing you have to talk about is the boost that is actually living in those corners, and you've seen FaZe Clan just pretty much drown out NRG with boost starvation. It, it has been ridiculous. They have been taking every single corner boost. NRG forced in such awkward spots. Even Squishy right here. Squishy has no boost. Finally, I thought he was going to take the corner boost. No, nope, it <laughs> nope. got yanked by AJ. Squishy still has no boost. I'm on this man's camera settings. It's just getting taken. Boost after boost. This man has been driving around with nothing in the tank. And it is keeping them trapped back here. Even when they break out for a moment, it's just for a moment. It's oh, put more pressure It's wide on. open. It's Energy is out. No boost. They're out there looking for it. They're trying to find <laughs> anything they can. But no, the goal will go in. Oh my goodness. I, I can't make that up. I think that's the first time I've ever seen something where I'm on somebody's cam for what felt like a minute to two minutes. And yeah. they are just stuck with zero boost, looking around desperately, begging to get boost. And somebody always out of face clan will just take it at the last second. It's so frustrating. Yeah, for sure. Well, we'll see. There's a momentary pause here um, as they figure out a connection issue. So we'll see. We'll see if they're able to pull that back together. And we'll get the game going again as soon as we possibly can. Fun stuff. The, the, the phase, the, the, the pause Ooh. frame here has Illusion pushing the ball into the net right now. I'm just getting this beautiful view of the phase decal, oh, yeah. which I don't know if you've ever looked at phases jerseys, but the decal is very much modeled after their jerseys. Yeah. And if you've ever looked at a phase jersey and been like, man, I want to own one of those, but I just don't know if I can like, yeah, that, that's, that's a lot of money. Jerseys are kind of expensive. Hey, decal, not yeah. as expensive. Put it on the car. Use it all the time. I mean, who wouldn't want to rock a jersey in game? I mean, it's amazing. So definitely got to go get those and look fly on the field as we sit here. We're going to look at the replay so far that we have seen in this series, in this set, best of three set of best of seven. So we could have a long, long day, a long matchup between these two teams, but I'm all here for it because we've seen nothing but incredible and whew, really calculated plays. I have been impressed oh. with FaZe Clan strategy. Man, first killer again on that defensive stand is just... Oh, yeah. So impressive that he, he, He's a he understands that there's no one rotating in behind him. His team, he has to hold it down for his team and does so. They're currently up one game in the series, and it's from the team effort we've been seeing from them. That, the, the mistake we saw there from Illusion on the wall, kind of the one flub we've seen, and they didn't even lose that game. So we'll see uh, We'll see what they're able to do uh, moving forward here. Yeah. It's, it's been a crazy one so far, and they are currently up here in this game. Regardless of if anything gets ruled about that goal that went in right before the pause, they still would have the lead in game four. Yeah. And my thoughts go out to Squishy right now because he hasn't found any boost <laughs> in the past, like, three minutes. I'm not even joking. I talk about boost starvation all the time, okay? Yeah. You know, it's 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 routine at this point, but just to see the pain on Squishy's face, as, uh, not even his face, I can't even see it right now, but his <laughs> car language alone, he's looking for boost. He's barely able to pick up pads because if you take even a slight rotation or a slight step out of rotation, rather, to get a boost pad, you're going to be too late going in for the challenge. It's like he has no option but yeah, to yeah. stay starved out against FaZe Clan.
Yeah, no, and, and I think that for, for viewers at home who are watching, we're talking about, oh, this team's starved for boost. They look up at the boost meters like, I don't know, I see boost on Energy's roster like, in, in yeah. Energy's tanks here. It, they might It might look like they have it, but the thing is, is that where they're finding that is either on the small path pads or they're having to go all the way out to midfield to pick up the pads out there. And that just extends the rotation, which gives um, FaZe a lot more space to stay aggressive. And yep. when you're able to take those corner boosts, that, that, that really enables you to keep that offensive siege going. And it forces NRG to kind of move outwards and to take paths they're not as used to. It's much more technical to hit all the small pads in front of your goal than it is to just sweep through the corner and grab the big. So yeah. they're, it's, it's, they, they'll still have boosts in their tanks. They're professionals. They know how to like make sure they have resources. <laughs> Somehow but, find pads. But it is still, the, the, the boost starvation doesn't necessarily mean they don't have boost. It means they don't have boost in positions. So we'll see. Uh, and, and you can see exactly the, the goal that goes in. It's completely open net as energy is just on too wide of a rotation there yeah. to uh, to find it. Well, even as I'm rolling through uh, each player here, as we're on the pause screen, you've got Justin sitting at 12 boost, Squishy at zero, and then Garrett G is all the way on the other side of the field, finally picks up boost, sitting yeah. at 62, but he's completely out of rotation. So it's like, even yeah. when you can find boost, you're not on defense. You're out trying to get boost instead of in position, trying to make exactly. a play. So huge, huge uh, fundamental boost starvation out of FaZe Clan. And we'll see if they continue this forward. I want to see more demos out of NRG. I think if they're going to do something, they have to fight fire with fire. In the face of boost starvation and other demos, it's like you have to have somebody just being annoying and stopping that rotation out of FaZe Clan because they are yeah. so comfortable right now. Nobody well, is getting in their way. I mean, but but but, but other, than, other than playing the ball into the corner, to your enemy corner, and then looking for demos through their box as you're rotating back, I feel like demos are pretty opportunistic. I mean, do you think that they should be should some player be mm. hunting demos? Because that, like, I feel like that really pulls them out of position, sort of the same way that boost uh, running for boost does. Well, it, normally it's like you you pick one player uh, who's super aggressive the most on a team to go for those uh, demos. And in this situation, I would pick Gary G. And like you said, it, it could ruin a lot of the rotations, but they need something. Either way, they're sure. gonna fall back on a mistake because they have no boost. They have to do something, some kind of a change with their own play style. Even if it's a bit risky to send Gary G maybe forward a bit more for demos, you can still try and find demos on the way back. Normally, you don't want to demo somebody in your own defensive half because it just puts them back right, right, right. all the way on defense, which isn't ideal. But in this situation, where it's that player who's being aggressive that's the most annoying to you, you need to take him out. You need to do something to fight him. And, and if you're finding the demo, if, if you're sending Garrett out of rotation to go find demos at midfield, he also then ends up in a cherry pick that you can use exactly. to try and advance more quickly, which is so much different than having it back on your own side. So um, we are going to go to a quick break, I believe. We will be right back as soon as we are ready to get back into the game. Things are prepared. The ruling is the goal. We saw the second goal there will stand and we will begin at 152 from kickoff. So Justin seems to have uh, Justin seems to be the player that was having the connection issue and he will his Internet is back for now. This right. is something that um, has been plaguing him over the course of the weekend. And I it can't can't help your mental game as a player to have that thought about like your lifeline to yeah. the form of connection you have being faulty, possibly going out, but Squishy gonna try and recover here. Ooh. There's even more pressure on. NRG starts off hot. Maybe they just needed this small little break 
a gift to them to have some time to recover. Squishy, a banger on net, forces AJ to get a touch, and then Garrett G follows it up. We've been talking about this all series long is the follow-ups from NRG. A lot of times it hasn't been too solid, uh, not as quick as we would have previously been used to in other series, but that one right there, Garrett G instantly in position. Illusion now to the corner. They scored right before the pause. And then immediately that goal gets negated by a kickoff attempt from NRG. Yeah. So and you were talking about the, the mental game. I mean, if you were frustrated by your internet, you know, if you're just in your internet's having issues, but then you get back into the game and within the first five seconds you score a goal, you most likely already forgot about anything that happened. Yeah, and at this point, as long as it feels solid, happy just to keep playing. It's one of those it's one of those problems that when it's not there, it's easy to forget that it ever happened. Squishy onto the backboard. Here's first killer, more pressure. Justice oh. shot just wide. Garrett G's follow-up. One, two, three. NRG back in form on offense, but a pinch from the ceiling. Justice got to cover up first killer here. He gets it off to the side. Garrett G's gonna get pressured by the rest of them, but FaZe actually hangs back. And now Justin bailing. He's gonna look to start boost starving FaZe in there. Yeah. And I like that idea there to bail out of the shot. He didn't have enough boost to even get a touch, but just to go down early and opt to take the boost, which is something that has been so valuable and scarce this whole game long. A smarter choice because you can keep the rotation forward. And you'll notice when they do have boost, they're staying on offense. Garrett G is able to meet AJ in the air, force a 50, and give Squishy some time to work with and maybe get this ball out, which he does. Garrett G, a 1v2 situation. The late flick above both of them. Now the follow-up from Justin, and he slots it. Beautiful. Look at Garrett force the defense into a really awkward situation here. AJ, the, he, he delaying that shot means there's fewer options for him, but there's also it, it, it more and more yeah. likely makes it that AJ has to go for this really awkward touch on the crossbar, or it's a very low percentage chance for AJ. He misses it, and then it's completely open for the third man to come in. NRG bouncing back from the technical pause, tying up the game in the final minute. Eight seconds left. We've had overtime two games in a row. It's looking like a third one, Turtle. Oh yeah, but don't don't forget FaZe Clan. They've been in this situation before if the ball got kept up, okay? I'm, I'm lying, you know? <laughs> we're not gonna go, <laughs> we're gonna it's go straight into one. overtime, <laughs> actually. I expected something with FaZe Clan and what we saw in that SSG series. You could yeah. never count them out. No, it's, I mean, the, the teams are opting. I feel like this season so far, I mean, we're only, you know, in the first regional, but teams have been opting to keep Ooh. the ball in the air rather than kill it and play for overtime. Like, even if the ball's in your own yeah. half, like, let's just keep going. Well, they can, it's just, they're so dangerous with just one opportunity, but Squishy, let's see what he's got. He did go for a slower play than the demo from first killer. Things are looking a bit risky Ooh. here. Another demo out of first killer. We'll see if the follow-up is there oh. for Lucian. He does go for the flip reset off the ah. backboard. Doesn't find it. And NRG barely escaped. So close. That honestly, that was that is an escape if I've ever seen it. That was, that was a Lucian shot to miss. <laughs> that was that was not NRG successfully defending. That yeah. was a Lucian just missing the double tap. Obviously, super difficult shot to hit, but he had the whole net to shoot at. Energy couldn't do anything but sit and watch. They covered one part of the goal here. And now back up on offense phase looking for another one. They won game one and three. And now looking for a winning oh, game. That's a weird four. bounce. Woo! First killer up for this, off the backboard again. Justin able to cover it up on the edge. Pinch it long ways. Here's Garrett G, around one. Justin trying to back up for this one. Squishy's there instead, oh. placed Ooh. high. Garrett G tried to cover it up and gets it back to Squishy in the corner. Squishy has no boost to work with, just a positional threat at this point in phase, recognizing the weakness. Oh, AJ, Putting he's pressure there. on all three players, Low shot. the bumps. Justin gets it after getting harassed in that, and now he's back looking for a counterattack. Back and forth gameplay we're seeing so far. Not one team can hold possession for too long. The boost ends up running low and they're forced to run back. Justin now, he's on low boost himself. He does flip into net and find good positioning. Garrett G doesn't get the 50-50 and FaZe Clan look to find a better touch. That's not a good one from Justin, but thankfully Squishy was in position and he does get back in time to get some boost. FaZe Clan are lurking now to end this OT. Justin with Garrett G right in front of him. Can he get a pass solution? He can, but he gets bumped off the ball. Now Phase Killer, look at Garrett G. Read Phase Killer's reception and play it off the wall. NRG letting Phase touch Ooh. it, but having them one step ahead of them, out reading them every time this time. Finally, first killer wins a good challenge. And we see Squishy off this back wall. Actually loses control of this ball. He's gonna use all of his boost just to get back to it. Garrett G's now on top of him too. Praise oh a bit my of congestion goodness. in the midfield. He's still holding on to the ball, but first killer again gets it away. 
Two and a half minutes into overtime. Man, it's, we're, we're already two and a half minutes into overtime. Uh, this has flown by. It's insane. <laughs> it's insane. And it's because of the aggression we're seeing out of both teams' face clan. I've been paying attention to all three players and their positioning uh, at one given time. It seems like they're they're not scared to throw everybody forward across that midfield line. Squishy, maybe a pre-jump here. Doesn't get the touch on first killer. But somebody's got to dive early. You got to stop that man from getting a flip reset Whoa. in general. Here's a Lucian looking oh. to build something, and a demo does come out from Squishy, but First Killer is right in their faces oh. to try to build a play. First Killer gets a touch on that backboard, and this game's over, but a narrow miss. Here goes Ooh. Agent with the pressure anyways. Phase in the midfield, takes control, takes the shot, and takes the game. This is unreal. NRG had scored both of the previous two goals, and you think they have the momentum coming into OT, but no, AJ's there to put a slammer in the back of the net. My goodness. This is genuinely like, ah, oh man, that, that is such a difficult play to recognize, I think. You notice, like, I mean, you, NRG's positioning kind of tells the story. They're all three on the ground, kind of just looking at the ball in the yep. air. I think it might have even been a whose ball is this, given the way it just perfectly lofts into the midfield. Just an absolute meatball for AJ to slam into the net. And Garrett G recognizes it all too late that AJ's there. Yeah. I, I, I I partially feel like they just didn't understand that there was a shooter inbound. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's it's an interesting shot there for AJ to even go for one that's so far out. We'll see right here as he gets past Gary G. We can look at the replay again. Squishy was in net. So was Justin. Squishy went for the pre-jump. But I'm surprised that AJ even went for that shot to begin with. I feel like most players would go for the backboard bounce, maybe setting up a, a player. But that just... It shows you how much confidence AJ has going in for those long distance shots because if you hit it with power, it doesn't matter who pre jumps or when. If the power is there, yeah. you can connect and really end that OT, which is exactly what he did. I think I don't, it's one of those plays that I think Illusion maybe like he, you, you launch in the air, and then the moment you see your brain recognizes that NRG had launched first because it is an NRG ball, it's in their half, they are closer to the ball. The moment you recognize, oh, they're already up. You could just bail on it, just just drop back down. Mm. But he he launches, and energy is grounded. So he go go go, all gas no brakes. Let's commit to this shot. And energy again. I think it was their positioning made it really difficult to know who's supposed to go up for it. They faltered, not wanting to triple commit in overtime, yeah. and it ultimately was their demise. But now into game five, phase up three to one. A That's win point. here in game five wins them the first best of set. NRG, the clear favorites in this match, up against the wall. They got to win three straight. They definitely have the firepower, firepower, excuse me, to do just that. But it is going to be difficult so long as you're facing an AJ who, who's really got a, a hot hand with those shots. He is striking flawlessly. Illusion has been fitting in really well, getting demos and doing a lot of the dirty work. I've noticed Illusion is the one who's going for a lot of boost steals. AJ just took the midfield one. They're Still trying to starve out NRG, and it has been working, Wavepunk. NRG look a little bit flat. And they're winning challenges, too. Even in their own corners, Gary G off the backboard, trying for the crazy play, looking to get into the top five. But no, first killer will take it away from him. Okay. Gary with a nice Justin. pass to Justin, and now over two. All of FaZe retreating, but FaZe, uh, AJ manages to catch, capture the ball and hold on to it. And then Illusion wins another dunk. First killer passing to AJ. FaZe making work of him right now. AJ to score goal number one. And you can tell that the speed is on another level because there was nobody out there in time to challenge this shot from AJ. He adds a little bit of flash to it as well, getting a bit of a 360 there and just nails it into the back of the net. Nobody from NRG was prepared to go out and extend their rotation and meet that shot head on. If any content creators looking for content this week, I'd watch a 45 minute breakdown of that last 10 seconds. That was incredible. The accuracy from FaZe, they were all three of them are retreating. They're, they're, they're curling back to their side of the field and AJ recognizes he can take control of the ball and they from midfield oh. turn it around. Energy trying to tie up the game here, but pressure on the AJ is nothing as he sends it to his corner and they reset. First killer with a flick over Justin. Now up against Garrett G. The flick over him as well and Illusion just tucks it into the corner. They're flying. And nothing but pain for Squishy. He's looking for boost. You can see he's rotating around, trying to pick up pads. Look at he that. was going to go for his own corner, but couldn't get there in time because he had to turn for the save and the passing from FaZe Clan. Of course, it is flawless. They are on fire here and look to end this first best of seven. Oh, my gosh. And they're taking more shots. That that was, that was brutal. 
That was yeah. the, the, the NRG did not touch the ball. Gen, like that's not an exaggeration. They didn't touch the ball as they got flicked twice, oh, and then man. the ball placed perfectly in the upper corner. Here's AJ onto the backboard, looking for a double tap. Actually goes for the fake instead, and first killer puts it in. These men can make no mistakes. Again, I'm gonna keep saying it. Squishy has no boost rotating back. He, he has to bumped. jump up for that early. He got oh. bumped. Everybody's getting taken out. Phase Clan are surrounding NRG in their own half. Hashtag phase up. My goodness, this is dominant Rocket League. Garrett G to the corner. He's got just on the wall with them. They're double committing in their own corner without pressure. NRG is flustered right now. They need to find control of this ball, settle down, and get back into the rotation. This, this is a very crazy. experienced team in this format. They absolutely, I, I don't, it, it, it speaks loads of NRG that I'm not counting them out when they're down 3-0 across yeah. halftime. Well, they've got a lot of time here to recover and figure this out, but it just seems like the phase decal in and of itself has like a, a bigger radius to pick up these boost pads <laughs> because they always have some in their tank. It's ridiculous. Nice touch there from AJ to avoid any pressure. But again, we talk so much about FaZe Clan, but of course there's always a chance for NRG to put one in here and start oh. the early movement. Maybe Squishy, he has boost this time, finds the angle. It doesn't go in. There was another that save one. there for face game, but it looks better. It looks better. They, for got, they got three shots out of it, but the second, the, the best look was the second shot from Garrett Woo! G. And again, Garrett G, they, they cannot, Garrett G is struggling to put this between the posts right now. That's two times in a row. He's had a good look at the net and put it off the post. AJ now trying to push this one back out. Squishy, seeing if he can set up his teammates. Both players on the wall are going to miss. The ball will bounce and Garrett G pushes it back down again. They can't get it through the defenders. 118 left to go. NRG yet oh, to get on touch. the board and looking to first lose killer. the first series. They'll put in the fourth one. That's going to be the nail in the coffin. And you can even see that first killer, if you pay attention to him, after he lands, he's actually hunting for the demo, but there's nobody in position for him to even demo. That's how fast they were to get that counterattack on the other side. And the accuracy, unlike NRG, they're finding the back of the net and they're slotting them. This is up by four now with one minute left to go. Oh, man. I said I said I wasn't counting out NRG earlier. I am I like you have to at this point, right? You this, have to. this this game is in the bag. Phase shows up in dominant fashion. It's a best of seven, oh. best of three. You gotta win two best of sevens to win the regional here. But the first one looking solidly. Unless I thought phase. there was a chance. I saw Squishy, he got like an interception, I believe, on a uh, midfield pass from FaZe Clan. If he put that in, maybe there's a chance. Maybe there's some credit we can give to, uh, to NRG. There, there's always no, a it's, chance. It's been all phase. No, there's not <laughs> oh, a chance. Never no, there's mind. Just, never mind. There's just I don't. <laughs> the, it would be a miracle. Hey, after we saw that SSG phase clan, okay, I mean, it was, it was only two goals. It wasn't five, but it wasn't it anything, was anything's more. possible here. But <laughs> regardless, phase clan. They look so good. I am so impressed with them. I thought that after the first game, NRG would warm up, and they did. They got uh, a lot quicker with the pace. We saw NRG even take a game. Uh, but FaZe Clan, they've been adapting right there with NRG. This this series honestly felt over the moment NRG didn't win after the technical reset. When they got the two-goal comeback and then still lost that one in overtime, that's such a momentum killer. It, it just feels bad. Look at Justin going for weird shots here. What a pass <laughs> no down. Way. I like this. And Wait, hold on. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, even with the, even trying to freestyle in the final minutes, they can't find the goal here. One last chance. It's not going to matter, though. Alusha puts Ooh. it to the ground and face clan. Win the first series of the best of three set. We'll yep. re rack, reload, and go for round two with FaZe Clan in the lead. I mean, NRG have got to go back to the drawing board. There's a lot of work to get done. Uh, certainly, they can do it. Certainly, they can bounce back. But we'll see. FaZe Clan, if they keep up that pressure, that boost starvation, we have got to see a completely different play style from NRG than what we're seeing right now. Because yeah. five to zero in match point. That has got to hurt your confidence, and uh, you're gonna need some time here to recover. They they got to take the restrictor plates off. They got to find a way to get in that engine and give themselves the full use of the boost. Because right now it is phase that is straight yep. up dominate. I mean, in this on the, the personal score, Illusion is the lowest on phase clan at 502, and Squishy is the highest at 240. Like double double Squishy's score from the bottom player on phase there in that final game.
utter obliteration in that game. And it, they, their energy needs this reset to kind of re, just to recalibrate. But if there's any team that has enough experience can, oh, at them. this level to do it, it's NRG. Absolutely. Um, and I think that if they did pick up the shooting a little bit, I mean, if you're just comparing the striking between both these teams, FaZe Clan are definitely in a different class because of the power. If NRG can start striking the ball a little bit, uh, with a little bit, excuse me, more power, things could swap pretty fast because the opportunities are coming for NRG. Don't count them out. They're just going to have to find that, that striking ability that we know they have. Absolutely. Well, we are going to go to a quick one. When we come back, we got the next series. The same team's going at it again. If you liked this, we got more. You know how some carriers give you so little for your older busted phone, you just end up living with it? I don't think so. Verizon lets you trade in your broken phone for a shiny new one. You break it. We upgrade it. You dunk it. Doggy bone it. <laughs> Slam it. Wham it. Strawberry jam it. We upgrade it. Get a 5G phone on us with select plans. Every customer, current, new, or business. Because everyone deserves better. And with plans starting at just $35, better cost less than you think.
not. You know how some carriers give you so little for your older busted phone you just end up living with it? I don't think so. Verizon lets you trade in your broken phone for a shiny new one. You break it, we upgrade it. You dunk it, doggy bone it, <laughs> slam it, wham it, strawberry jam it, we upgrade it. Get a 5G phone on us with select plans. Every customer, current, new, or business. Because everyone deserves better. And with plans starting at just $35, better cost less than you think. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Rocket League Championship Series brought to you by Verizon. This is the North American Open, and we are into our grand finals. That first best of seven of this best of set is out of the way. And myself, Leaf, Gibbs, Daz, and James all had this going the other way. This was, <laughs> this yeah. was not what we had expected at all, Daz. No, we didn't. We didn't. But it did look like, you know, for for a moment there, NRG had a semblance of control. And then things started to change up. They got into game two. And then there was a little bit of drama after the pause. I think that mentally took out NRG. And it just seems like, you know, they are just playing extremely uncharacteristic in those later halves. FaZe were in complete control. Yeah, I feel like you're absolutely right. The mental game is going to be something that needs to be recuperated here. James, I... Uh, how well do you think NRG bounces back? I mean, NRG to me is the number one team for a reason. They are mentally tough. And yes, there was some drama, but the fact is it came down to three overtime games. FaZe got the better of NRG in overtime. And we're starting to see FaZe maybe as an overtime team, especially with first killer. The plays that he were ma was making was just very difficult to defend. Yeah. You saw the flip reset pass down to AJ for that goal. FaZe is showing that they are a team that's here to claim that top spot in North America. The job's not done yet, but uh, as someone who said, I'm waiting to see, I'm starting to, to believe that this FaZe team is really, really good. And that's a big moment for FaZe because we go into a best of set. We yeah. saw them last year, like in championships. Well, FaZe went 0-2. First killer went 0-4 in best of set. So these guys finally get a win under their belt in best of sevens, and it's their first grand finals appearance ever. So... It's a big win for them to take down energy, not only because that was a huge win, but it was a 4-1. They dominated that entire series. So that is a good sign going forward. But you know that this is energy. And if a team's going to adapt, it's going to be energy. Yeah, well, they uh, they had a few moments now. That's what we're giving them time to do is try to adapt, try to get themselves back in the game. I think it's a good point to be made that NRG is a team that has been through this. They've experienced this plenty of times before. And I'm sure they'll bounce back, but FaZe is going to continue to try to hold that momentum here. It's time to see if the fans have changed their minds on this. It's mm -hmm. time for the Verizon fan vote. And uh, yeah, I'll get to you guys in a second. But we want to see if if chat maybe has had a, a change of heart. Do you guys want to switch it up? Give you another chance to stand behind NRG or see if anybody's flipped over to see if uh, FaZe is going to take this one. While you're doing that, I just want to kind of get some vibes and see if we got any flippers on the desk. We had some so flippers yesterday, but... <laughs> So I just want to say that I was peer pressured into this energy pick. In uh -huh. the first one. You obviously Daz and James, they're homeboys. <laughs> peer pressure. Okay. Blame so the no, no, no. <laughs> I, 
the I'm king not of flipping. excuses. I am going to stick oh my with NRG. Like, I think they will adapt and we will go to a third best of seven because that's what we all want because we have so, so wait, many close games mm-hmm. throughout. You, you're but. peer pressured into picking what you want. I don't understand, Gibbs. <laughs> this is competing just for me. Josh and James, I love okay, you guys. Right. I love your energy fanboyism. So I'm going to stick with energy and go with them. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's really tough because I I just ultimately at the end of the day feel like I have to continue to believe in NRG. After this though, if Phase Phase does take down NRG, then it's there is very little reason to doubt uh, in them in the in the future. You you really have to start believing that this Phase Clan is going to start punching at the top for a long time to come. So uh, I'll stick for now. And uh, I'm going ahead. I didn't quite hear everyone down there is sticking too, right? No flippers. Well, I, I was just going to, I didn't have a chance to speak, but I, I'll just go on record and say that I'm also going to stick with NRG. I think it would be hypocritical to switch at this point. And uh, for all the same reasons, NRG has been at the top. They've proved that they're the top team out there. FaZe is a team that added first killer. This was a roster change. So I just have to wait and see before I'm, going to pick them in a big series like this. But what we saw from that first series is that Uh they've got the chops. They can do it. Now can they close it out? I don't know, James. I don't know. (laughs) Daz, are you flipping? Are you doing it, Daz? You might be fired. I don't don't know. (laughs) (laughs) Wait, don't. (laughs) Chill out. (laughs) Chill out, okay? All I'm saying is, is like, towards the end of that series, FaZe Clan looked like they they were in the driver's seat. Like there, and it just looked like NRG didn't stand a chance. And I think that this is going to be very telling for both teams in terms of just like where the stage is right now. It just looks like FaZe have all the control. I'm not flipping. I am okay. going with NRG. <laughs> but what I am saying is, is that they are not the favorites right now. I sure, think FaZe yeah. Clan have everything yeah. in their hands and it's going to take an effort here for NRG to turn yes. the series around. We and might there's be a major down concern. with the ship. Is what you're saying. <laughs> yeah, I'm going down with the ship. I will go down with All the right. ship. But the ship definitely is looking a little leaky. I can't, <laughs> yeah. I can't deny that. <laughs> There's a major concern right now for NRG because they're giving up a lot of shots to G2 and version one, but G2 shot 12%, then V1 shot 18%. Now FaZe here shooting 25% with that infield pass and plays and then hitting like all their shots. That's what you want to see. But for NRG, don't give up all these shots. You got to play the offensive game throughout this entire weekend. A lot of defense from NRG. I think everyone wants to see them move up the field more and control possession. Captain Daz going down with the ship. Now, if, if you had a chance to save it, what 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 are you telling the crewmates right now? What do you want them to be doing out there? Get it together, lock <laughs> in, and just, just, just stay. Put the phone away. You see your phone? It goes. <laughs> it's gone. Okay. No tweet. It's about how you are on the field right now. You can talk all that afterwards. It's about what's on the field. You got to leave it all out there in this series. That's that's it's a it's a mental game. It seems like coming in this next one. I feel like uh, James, you were talking about too. We, early on, it looked like they 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 had some some good form out there, but it was it may have from here kind of fallen apart. I mean, you guys are making it sound like it was so one sided. That last game obviously got a little <laughs> bit out of hand, but there was three overtimes. It was close. Yeah. If that one game, and I think even Wave Punk commented on it, NRG's chance to take that series was when they tied it up in that Mm -hmm. game where there was the pause. And I think if they do win that game, it's a much different series. So sometimes series, they have a life of their own. And you've seen it in so many grand finals, so many events where each series, you know, it's its own thing. And while one series may go extremely poorly, it doesn't mean that that's going to be the case for the next series. So I am not, Mm -hmm. I'm not, I'm a little deflated right? <laughs> because I wanted NRG to have an easy victory. But uh, FaZe, they showed that they have the skill to take it. But it's one thing to win a series. It's another thing to close out a grand final. I uh, I just want to point out that uh, Desk, some of our children uh, have left us. Uh, they've they've left the house. They're out on their own now, and they've gone over to FaZe. Uh, I think we we're at yeah. 80% was before <laughs> that is a significant downturn in confidence i'm, I'm kind of surprised NRG. it's not higher to be honest Lee. yeah because fans I'm, by the end of that series right with a big five nothing win at the end you think it would start so you might see it sway but the problem is for us on the desk we can go down oh two but if i lose a best to set oh three in predictions i can't have that so i can't <laughs> switch i can't switch it's just not possible yeah it's a uh, it's so hard because you as James said, you see it, you're like, okay, we, we saw that they were able to do good out there, but sometimes it's 
it's hard to bounce back from this. So Gibbs, before we get into this, we're just waiting for players to get ready. Mm-hmm. Any any final like you know coaching <sighs> advice or things you'd like to see from them, from both teams, even mm-hmm. what you'd like to see pace continue, and for energy, what you'd like maybe a switch up to happen. So some notes I saw, like obviously, like we're going to talk about. Like all these shots, but energy, they shot under 10%. They got to hit the shots when it matters most. Mm -hmm. But the thing that was kind of striking was, sure, FaZe shot pretty well, but first killer, he only shot like 13%. He wasn't doing that well uh, either, but like Illusion and AJ really picked it up. So that's the scary part. But now with FaZe, because before it's like, all right, like a first killer has a bad series, then Rogue, they are no threat. But with FaZe, if first killer's playing okay, you still have AJ. You still have Illusion. It is going to be difficult. But we're talking about the best of North America. We know that's energy more days uh, than not. So you got to close them out. That is what it comes down to. Right now, energy, they're still the number one team in NA until FaZe beats them twice. Yeah, it's uh, it's starting to look, again, scary there for the top dogs. It's starting to seem like it's not as safe and pretty sitting up there in the top of NA anymore. And a lot of the players have been very vocal that I think it's a pretty stacked region. We're finding that out now as FaZe is going to try to continue on their tear. We're going to head back to the Verizon Skybox with Turtle and Wave Punk for this next best of seven. Tensions are higher than ever between NRG and FaZe. NRG needs to fight back harder than ever, lest FaZe take home the crown for the North American Open. Turtle, I cannot believe that after... Phase picked up NRG, wrapped them in aluminum foil, put them back in the takeout bag, and threw them in the garbage can in that last game. <laughs> and nobody on the desk flipped their side or chat flipped their side. I mean, it's a testament to how long NRG's been at the top, but that game was brutal. Well, it just shows how important consistency is in this game. Sure, you can have a solid series, and I'm not trying to discredit the win that we just saw from Phase Clan. We just have to see it again. And I think that's what everybody's trying to say is NRG, time and time again, their backs yes. against the wall. They have showed up. And we've also got Hold interesting on. car choices. I don't know if you're seeing yes. what I'm seeing. Yeah, no, this is a, a, a James Bot will rejoice and consider oh, he's gonna this be hyped. A, a, a win for him that Justin is driving a Merc with a topper in a grand finals of a regional here. Fascinated to know to hear his thoughts on that later. I, now, yeah. now I'm really rooting for them to win so they can interview him after this and well, ask him about it's that. It's actually kind of surprising because initially he joined the pre uh, or the lobby before we got in here as yeah. a Dominus. I thought he was just swapping cars. And then he left again to come back with the Merc. Not exactly sure where oh, that plan oh. came out, but Illusion, he's going to shut us up right now. Not We're not going to talk about cars the whole game. We're going to talk about FaZe Clan and their ability to pass in the midfield and find Illusion for that shot. That's an NRG special right there that FaZe is pulling out. The infield pass straight at 1-2, oh, yeah. blazing fast shot, 84 miles per hour into the goal. And they've got goal number one here, picking up right where they left off. But NRG now, after being shut out in the last game, this is a bit of a drought. Yeah. That stretches uh, back to the middle of game four, the very end of game four, where they weren't able to get a goal in that overtime, didn't get anything in the end of game five. So now... Needing to find one to get on the board. Needing to get on the board here just to change up the pace mm. and get some morale back on their side. Ooh, nice little quick midfield passing Ooh. there from Justin to Squishy. Gary G was trying to get involved, but unfortunately there was a defender in the way. Maybe Squishy here can find something off the corner, but let's see if FaZe Clan do that same strategy. What I noticed a lot after going through the replays was that they'll play aggressive and just shove this ball constantly off the backboard. And then surprisingly out of nowhere, just hit you with one quick midfield pass, and that's all it no. takes, and you find two defenders <laughs> from NRG waiting in the backfield, first killer, and this top corner. It's hard to find a better duo. Oh, you! Oh, my confidence is starting to wane. I saw the pass come across, and I was like, that's a goal, which I've never said about a team playing against NRG. They're like, oh, this infield pass is absolutely in, but the the precision on the placement oh, yeah. turtle is incredible like the, they are nailing this upper 90 over and over again so difficult for even the players on nrg to reach well and the crazy thing is for that shot if you go for the other corner it's going to get blocked out there was a defender in the way and yeah. first killer still managed to find that same corner on the right side he slowed down a little bit slotted it under the defender and found the accuracy this has just been Whoa. That same final game just continued on here so far in this series. 
It is so far, but they have slowed down the scoring, uh, given I think we were at three goals before halftime in the last game, and here we right, are right. at halftime, only at two. Only two now. only two, you know. Only two, that's improvement. <laughs> and Justin, Justin will get a stop here. And now AJ, looking to do it by himself, a drop from Squishy, I believe. A dangerous one, but they've got the long clear now. It's just Ooh, a pressure on the it. net, defended by first killer. Back out, Squishy now in the corner. Illusion will have space on this ball. And gets it over the top of Gary G. Coming out of the backfield now. Past one with space over the top of two. Can he get it under oh. the crossbar? Illusion finds the clear on the backboard. Squishy, Gary looking G's to connect there. with Gary G. Drops it back to Squishy, blocked by a first killer. How do you read that? And now putting pressure back on Justin on the other end. Oh, and the creativity was there from NRG. Gary G was waiting on the back wall, trying to get a touch straight down to Squishy. I don't know if he made the best contact or if any contact at all. But either way, I like the idea. We need more of that from NRG. Justin off this wall, puts it into the midfield. Gary G's going to try and chase it, but Lucian's matching him. And AJ actually comes from the backfield to pick it up. Now first killer challenging. Gary G gets the ball away from him, drops it into the box, and Justin clears it to the outside. Now Gary G off the wall. An Lucian will pick it up. Justin getting harassed. First killer is going to try and pick this one up. He's got a full tank of boost again. And he's dribbling in the sky, waiting for his team to get up Ooh. field and find some blocks for him. It's met by Gary G in the air. And now Squishy and Garrett G going to try and tag team this one all the way back down. It'll be a little bit wide. They'll need some help from Justin on the edge. But the ball gets taken away from Justin before he can do anything. And here comes Phase once more. Oh, and it's just that speed. And now Squishy, he's forced to go back and rotate for his own corner boost. Doesn't get the best touch. Oh, it was straight oh. up to Illusion, who whiffed the shot, didn't find any contact. But then a demo comes out. Maybe this could be the chance for Phase Clan to go up 3 nothing. But of course, it's saved from Justin, NRG. One goal is all they need to change the tides of this battle and maybe start Whew. that scoring spree we've been waiting for. Here's Lucian up against Justin in the corner. And one goal, like you said, would really change things, but they're in the final minute. They need to get that goal quickly. This is a good opportunity. Oh, is that oh, it? it? Bounces all the way across Justin. the ball from Justin. Is in. They will find it with 33 seconds remaining. And this is how you know they broke down the FaZe Clan defense, was how much time this ball had to roll out to Justin before a defender got close to it. AJ went for that pre-jump. Justin did find the bottom right corner. And we mentioned it, one goal is all it takes. There's only 33 seconds, but NRG, it's possible. Justin off the wall. Has two teammates behind him. They're only trailing by one. Flip reset on come. the marker. Put what? that in. No way! What? The greatest goal ever scored by the van to tie things up. How on earth did this find a way to go in? The flip <laughs> reset past all players. The finesse to slot that one in. It's on the Merc. Justin ties the game up. How about it? Look at that. And what a way to inject energy back into NRG's veins. They're going to have to hold on, though. It's only the tie game. It gives them an opportunity to go to overtime. But they only there was many overtimes in that first series. Oh, yeah. Phase one, the majority of them. Here comes more pressure. They got to get oh, to overtime. Commit, though. Hey, Jay's putting more pressure on. Here's Gary G off the corner with five seconds left. There's a miss. Squishy with an opportunity. It's over the top of Justin, though. This is dangerous. Squishy keeps it high, Woo! though. Blocks it away from any follow up shot, and they'll put it into the ground. Overtime yeah. in game one. That defense from Squishy. He got bumped, was knocked out of his rotation, still found a touch, keeping them alive. That's a good midfield pass. Pretty routine from FaZe Clan. It might be time that energy starts reading those and gets in the way, finds an interception. Or maybe we see another Merc flip reset. You never know, especially <laughs> with this type of series. I thought I'd seen it all, Turtle, but... I really did, too. Justin keeps me guessing. Garrett out of boost, won't be able to chase it. He'll find this corner, though, and Justin... We'll put some more pressure on now. AJ over the top of two squishing Garrick, trying them on kind of on top of each other, but Garrett G will emerge with control. Illusion puts it behind him. Squishy now putting pressure on the corner, and NRG starting to win challenges in this corner, which gives them more and more opportunities to score. Neutral challenge there, and now first killer will get it past Garrett G. He's out of boost, though. He's got to look for the corner. Ooh. Squishy Justin tangling up in the corner here. Justin will emerge with control. Look for another air dribble. Looking for bumps. He gets Illusion to go high. AJ on the goal line stops it. First killer gets behind the ball and will be able to carry it away. Oh, the and demo. demolition on the Squishy. AJ's up for it. Looking for the tap. Hits the second fake. Oh, no. First killer couldn't find the touch, and Garrett G will get the ball. The goal was wide open, but wait, hold on a second. The counterattack, oh. we even talk about what we just Woo. saw. Maybe we see Justin in oh, the no. Merc making moves before we can even break down a play away, Punk. The ball is all the way on the other side. Oh. The flip reset to turn that 
what looked like a pass play into a shot. Squish gets bumped off the ball. He gets a double commit out of him. Garrett G can't put the ball in between the posts. It was a little bit slow. The third man probably would have gotten it. 130 into overtime, and it's been back and forth. Both oh, teams yeah. with opportunities to win the game. Out of the midfield, maybe a Lucian. No. Face Clan, they had a chance to end this OT within the past a minute, I believe. We saw a demo play come out on the third man from NRG, but first killer flicked it too far and it went above the net when it was wide open. Communication not there, and now a double oh, commit coming out from FaZe Clan. That was back-to-back -back double commits from FaZe. Falling all over each other. A demolition on a squishy will help, but they're low on boost. And the fact that AJ managed to get up and block Justin at all on that touch was incredible. Now Gary G trying to pitch it off the ground. It's over the top of two of them. Justin here rotating back. We'll pick up control. Gary G to the outside. Oh, what Sends a clear. Justin's down. there too. Justin's going to meet AJ. Oh. He gets there first. They bring it back. They were down too early and won it in overtime. And you can see the relief in the face cams from Justin. So hyped off of that goal. And Gary G, the instant turnaround. You saw how fast he got up on that sidewall. And then the monster clear to the other side of the pitch for Justin to put it away. That was picture perfect, dare I say, especially with the counterattack. And that has how, that, that's how the first game went. We didn't have one team with just monster uh, possession or dominant possession. It was just back and forth the whole entire game, Wave Punk. Yeah, the, the difference maker in this game compared to every game we've seen between these two teams up until this point was that air dribble flip reset. Yeah. Off the Merc. The Merc makes it hilarious, <laughs> it but the fact, it was, a, the fact that it was a this. single Look at this. player. What is that? Why does that go in? Why does that go in? <laughs> it's amazing. I just didn't even look at it. It was weird. It was the weirdest slip reset. I think it's because it was the Merc. I don't think they knew that was possible with that car because Justin was in the air. And I think two players from Face Clan had already jumped. And then the third man back was like, he's in the Merc. There's no way this man gets the ball no past way, me. Right. Somehow Justin makes it work. But and it, I know there are a lot of people doubting it too. The, the yeah. pick for the Merc. But he comes out here and he does that. It, it, I mean, and he's been driving an Octane all day. For the people at home who are uninitiated, the Merc and the Octane, they're, they have the same hitbox there. So it is it is a similar vehicle. But the thing is th that we had not seen solo goals from anyone on NRG yeah. in that first series. It was always team plays. It was capitalizing on mistakes. Those clutch plays that we know players like Justin and Squishy, that's what they built their brand on, who, how they got their names out there in the community. To see him bring that and inject that energy back into his team here, I think made such a difference as they went into overtime. Yeah, and I think that with how high the tensions we're coming in to this second series with, with whatever happened in between sets or even during the series to come out here and to try and relieve tension like that. It was a risky play from Justin. I mean, had they lost that first game, who would know where the mentality is of NRG, but winning it in a style like that from Justin with the flip resets, the mechanics on the Merc, that could add some positivity to the communication on their yeah. side and maybe lighten the mood a bit for NRG. Yeah, no, and get, especially, I mean, if they had gotten shut out in game number one, I think the series is over, and it's a best yeah. of seven, which is, which is just crazy to say, a best of seven over in game number one. But given how they lost the final game of the first set, for them to lose the first one that way could have genuinely just ended things. So NRG really bouncing back and getting the win means we have a ball game on our hands. And maybe the desk knew what they were talking about with how good this energy roster is. Here's Absolutely. first killer through one in the first minute, looking for a goal. Past another, Justin out of the backfield, still playing the Merc as well. He's sticking with it. And a drop down, Lucy's oh. gonna try. Justin gets it away. AJ will be here to clean this up, but he's out of boost. He's gonna have to leave it for a teammate. I'm not 100% sure what first killer was going for off the sidewall. I think the midfield pass would have been the best option, but it did look like he was going for the shot. I do appreciate the effort for sure. Maybe he's got something here. Zero in the tank. Can't make anything work, and he also doesn't get any boost deals, but he does get a demo on Justin. And AJ is here to follow it up and keep the pressure moving forward for FaZe Clan. There's first killer. The stop on one and then pinches this one up behind Squishy. He's out of boost, but he's got Justin in front of him and Squishy challenging from the side. And now going to look for a pass to his teammates off the corner. Illusion and AJ, though, double commit. It's all up to first killer, and he's low on boost. He's going to stretch for this one and just oh, try look to at keep the control. it trapped on the back wall. And the control is incredible. Way to eliminate a difficult situation there. The energy was going to try and take advantage. I mean, that's just strictly muscle memory at that point. I was on first killer's cam for that touch to keep the control off the back wall. And it's it's insane that he knows exactly where the back wall is, how far it is from his car. He can find that perfect touch. And again here, maybe if there was a demo out on Squishy, who bit a little bit early oh. to follow up them for oh. first killer, it's not on point. But AJ surely can finish this one off. Face Clan score first. 
The moment Justin is in the air and AJ hasn't taken his shot, this goal is as good as in. AJ has been so pinpoint in his accuracy here. He sees Justin shows his hand. He shows, I'm covering this shot here. As long as you put it anywhere else, it's good. Yeah. And AJ finds the shot for goal number one of game two. Oh, maybe Justin off the kickoff. And that's a that's a very good sign for Face Clan and surely a boost of confidence oh. because we have seen some uncharacteristic uh, double commits out of Face Clan in this series alone, where they've been a little bit all over the place and stepping on each other's toes. So to see them have some solid spatial awareness and to get a couple of follow-ups bodes well for them. Did you just see the wall dashes from AJ? He was using the, like, he the, just, he the new weight back. dash technique that players have been ah. doing to maintain speed on the wall. I have not seen that yet in RCS. Oh. That's crazy. I've seen I've seen it in like you know like some regional events right. and stuff like that. But like here in a grand finals, of, I mean I guess this is technically a regional event, but at lower levels of the premier level of competition here, it's just crazy to see them pull off a sort of thing. It's going to become commonplace, and I'm just going to continue to suck at this game. Two minutes and eleven seconds left. <laughs> Okay, into the you, see, it's the decal wave. You gotta, you gotta swap up your it, decal a little bit. You're, you're not wrong. That's the problem. I just need to buy an energy or a face. That's what I'm no. saying. That's what I'm saying. In the esports shop now. First killer taking a shot straight downtown. Garrett G gets up for it in time. 153 on the clock as they put more pressure on. Phase is trying. AJ now through the sky. He's got Squishy up with him. Oh. Squishy will get the ball over the top of him. Gets both defenders to bite. Oh, Nobody's going. Lo Everyone's losing the backfield. First killer gets back on the ground in time before anyone from energy can pressure him. But Justin man, do they have an opening. Oh, and Justin was alone, but then Squishy. Oh. Nice little touch to redirect it behind him. Squishy has been performing so much better. And it's not to say that he was performing uh, poorly in the previous series. It's just he couldn't find boost. I mentioned it so much because I was on his cam. He was looking for boost the entire time, it felt like. So to see him back in form with some boost in the tank, he can make some damage here. He's got 100 to go for this challenge. Squishy back to Justin, who's in a cherry pick off the wall. Garrett G's gonna try and reach for it, but it's behind him. And first kill and AJ gonna create a dual threat. Justin now lofted. He'll have time to get control. Oh. And a nice pinch off a of first kill. He's looking for Squishy, but Illusion will cover him up. Garrett G on the read. Can he find a second touch? AJ takes it away in the corner. With one minute remaining, phases up by one. Is it good enough to hold on? NRG's breathing down their necks, trying to tie up this game. First killer, he's alone. His teammate just got demoed. AJ did spawn. He's now in net, but a little bit late to get to the challenge. Oh, it doesn't no. matter, oh, though. That oh. dunk was insane. And Garrett G, the backflip save to keep them within one. 40 seconds left, just a little bit under. And they look to get their first goal and tie this up. That was an amazing save. A moon flick from Garrett G oh, yeah. on the goal line. He makes any other touch there. The ball still just goes in the goal. It was the only play he could make. He pulled it off in style here. But AJ now into an empty backfield again. And we've seen both teams are being very aggressive this game. There's been yeah. multiple times that oh, the third up. man is having to retreat on defense. AJ making a stop. 10 seconds left. Just holding on the ball in his corner. Burning time off the clock. And gets a pinch to the other side. It'll burn so much time for FaZe. Garrett G. Now on the cherry G. pick. Covered up, though. Two of the players on the backboard. Just as oh, Justin got bumped. bumped off the ball. What a way to close out the game. FaZe now tying up the series. Oh, and what a frustrating situation for Justin. That looked like a perfect opportunity for him, yeah. but the demos came out. The physical bump from FaZe Clan, shoving him out the way and making sure that ball does touch the ground. A huge response from FaZe Clan. They needed that to get back into the series. And I mean, I, 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 say NRG did bring this to OT and somehow ended up winning. It would be hard to think that FaZe Clan were positive right now in their communications because that's that's just such a tough way to lose game one and game two, especially with yeah, the Merc. That, would, that, that would might be. be slipping in their mentality, but this win alone will bring back that confidence, Wave Punk. Yeah, for sure. And, and man, the, we, this is the second time. I think game one of the first series was the other one where, man, a 1-0 game. You look at the scoreline, you yeah. think, oh, that was probably kind of slow. This was so back and forth. So many on the edge of my seat moments. This is yeah. going to be it. This is going to be a goal. And somebody manages to get back and stop it. Genuinely excellent play from both sides. Cannot wait here for game three, especially because now we're all tied up in games. Uh, if NRG is able to win this series, we'll go to a third best of seven. Yeah. How crazy would that be? I mean, I'm only questioning now. Is the only way for NRG to get a win here is whenever Justin does pop off individually because that's how they mm. won the first game. And even in that previous one, uh, there were right, a lot of cool. close chances. There's Justin, though, doing a lot of work. And I won't say this is Justin by himself. Certainly, Garrett G had a lot to do with this one, cutting off that pass and just basically uh, teeing it up for Justin.
Yeah, and the, the, the real winner here is FaZe just full sending on the kickoff and there being nobody in the backfield. But usually yeah. on the kickoff, you'd, you'd have somebody back there who could pick up an easy shot like that. But they They're leave so the aggressive on their kickoffs, too. Yeah, no, G Garrett G recognizing that situation. Justin saying, OK, cool. I can if I just send this on target, we score. No final lead here in game number three. Garrett G to the outside. Justin put pressure on him. And now Illusion here on the back, back wall, board. getting pressured by Justin again. He'll find a monster clear to midfield and gets the dunk on Squishy. Illusion now up against Garrett G, who gets the touch through one, and Squishy will play it to the outside. FaZe having to completely reposition after the energy touches. Oh, a nice interception there from AJ, the pre-jump to get in that way, or get in the ball's way, excuse me. And Garrett G, though, he does turn it around. Nice little touch to Squishy. Maybe lead something for Justin who is always behind the ball with these shots. Justin has been so aggressive, the confidence flowing through NRG, but basically, and they're coming off of a hot win in the previous game. Justin to the side. Oh my goodness. First killer over the top of one. There's Squishy off the backboard. AJ gets demolished. Gary G's looking for another one. There's the aggressive demo plays we were hoping for in the first series, and it's Garrett G. Yeah. None other. As Justin puts pressure on, first killer just follows him wheel to wheel. It's, Says, yeah, it's kind of crazy. I'm here. We haven't seen that much physical plays from FaZe Clan in this True. set. And considering where they came from against SSG and how chaotic that matchup was, I am so shocked that we haven't seen too many physical plays. Maybe this is an opportunity for Garrett G then to start that chaos. If FaZe Clan oh. don't want to initiate, oh. Justin, nice little carry out. Maybe he can find something. Saves his flip oh, oh. and gets it around first killer, but Illusion is there to save the day. And they find another block, but the defense is so loose. Garrett G, well placed. He's been struggling with the placement all series, but this one's on the money. Three minutes left to go, and they're up by two. Oh, you got to give a lot of credit for Squishy to put a shot on target. Even though the power wasn't there, they were so under pressure, FaZe Clan. They had to yeah. go for at least one save. A double commit did come out. And NRG, nice cleanup. 2-0. It seems like they found their groove, White Punk. No, I think the Squishy shooting straight. Oh my goodness. Defender. Oh, here's Squishy looking for another shot. Can they go up by three? No, first killer blocks it, sends it to the corner. But Squishy shooting straight at the defenders there forces the double commit out of them. There is literally Absolutely. no time or, or like positional information that can tell the defenders who's supposed to go. They both have to commit. It makes it, gives G Garrett G the best percentage shot and they get a second goal out of it. Great brain plays there from Squishy. Big brain man as AJ tries. To get this out you of really, snap. you really can't count out FaZe Clan at this moment. They did it with 16 seconds left. Surely they can get yeah, two all, again all. here with two and a half Ooh. minutes, a little bit under. First killer, maybe a play here in the corner. Can develop. Illusion did get the demo. Justin looks for the pre jump, wow. and it's yep. not enough. They were so fluid in these corners to get this one out into the midfield. No, and the demos too, getting them back to back here to pave the way. It leaves the goal open. Garrett G's trying to reach back and forth. And Garrett G was doing lateral motion. He, he, was, he was just going side to side on that field, trying to block everything. But when his team's just being exploded behind him, yeah, there's not much he can do. There's the demos I was talking about too. Phase Clan. Yep. Things could get chaotic from here. First killer. Up for that. Illusion. On the side. Here's AJ. Onto the backboard. And Justin out to Garrett G. Oh, Garrett G with a miss on the wall. And first killer will pick this one up for free. He's only got 28 boosts in the tank, but can he make it worth it? Back in front and Garrett G, a nice extension over the top of the backline offense from FaZe. Now FaZe trying to get out of their half across an empty side of the field. AJ's looking for a pinch here, runs out of boost. Illusion will loft the ball. Everybody grounded right now. Garrett G will try to reach back for this one. First killer get the touch over the top of him. Illusion's looking for a dunk, but Squishy's got there first. Gets it cleanly, and Garrett G gets demolished on his way onto offense. Phase. First killer. It's like they heard you. They're just getting more physical again. Here's a yep. pass inwards. Infield pass. Oh! And the play back. No way. First killer. How does he keep this under the crossbar? The give and goes between first killer AJ out to the midfield. Back into first killer. AJ oh. sniped his own player to get that final shot. Base Clan tied things up. We knew it was possible, and they did it with so much time to spare. It was a mind-bending play. Developing so quickly, and yet First Killer still manages to stay accurate. AJ up for it now, looking for the game winner. Soft touch, flip reset over Squishy! Style it on him here in game three!
I we're talking about explosive gameplay. They were down 0-2, and now they took the lead. AJ, the flip reset. It's the first touch he got on the reset to find the finishing shot. FaZe Clan. My goodness. They were trailing by two, and just like that, they flipped the script. That... That play is, I'm still thinking about that one. That's mind blowing. It's Justin's gonna try and tie it back up, but AJ closes on it. I just, the, 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 the precision, the yeah. master class on how to use a flip reset it's there. Crazy. Squishy went from being a relevant defender to completely out of the play in a split second. That was it's, so it's impressive. It's so unusual. It's so unusual for a player in that position to instantly go for the flip reset. Yeah. Most of the time, players will try to get that first redirect and just oh. have it be a normal shot, but a disaster for Illusion as he got a piece of this Ooh. and shot it in his own net. Illusion. Oh, Justin no. down. Ooh. It does. I don't. Yeah, it, it's a question of whether Justin's touch was going to go in already. No, I, I think Justin was going for a midfield pass. I'm oh, almost positive. Goodness. And Illusion, uh, that, that started with Illusion kind of getting bamboozled in the midfield. He was kind of caught up in no man's land, reaches for it. I think he panics, thinking, yeah. oh, I've got to get back. i got to make this play. And or at least one, find a challenge. Yeah, one error leads to another. And AJ, all of a sudden, oh, is this in? It's wide of the goal. Squishy, out of his net here. Dribble past one. Now Garrett G versus Justin. Up to Squishy. They got two defenders. Oh. They'll block oh. it, but can energy find the goal? Try to look for a lead. Down to Garrett G. Blocked oh. by AJ. Follow up from Squishy. Defended by Illusion, but it's still high. First killer is there with the most boost. He'll get it to the outside. We've been to so many overtimes. Let's do another one. And we shouldn't be here. It's all because of that mistake out of Illusion trying to get that final challenge when he was just too late to even go up for it. But they still have a chance here and can end this game. Somebody's got to make a play. Maybe it'll be Illusion getting revenge. Ooh. Here's Squishy. Up against AJ. In the corner, there's one block. Garrett G to try and keep the pressure on. Two defenders on the back wall for FaZe. But they'll separate. Now AJ. Trying to gain control. He'll bump Squishy down all across the backboard. Oh, and it shoot backwards. Oh. First kill and nearly puts it back into his own box. What? Here's AJ. The dribble, he's got one defender behind him. Goes for a first fl flip reset to get over one. Garrett G now looking for Squishy, but Illusion will break up the pass play and then get back to the ball. No, Garrett G covers it up. It's all up to AJ. Oh my he goodness. finds the block in the air, finds first killer. They extend it on a clear. What immaculate defense despite a really pressed situation. But here comes Justin up against two. It's by them. He gets the bump on AJ. Squishy tries it up. Garrett G, first killer blocks him in the air. You gotta be kidding me. And you can't help but think back to the first game of the previous best of seven, where it was nobody but FaZe Clan making goal line save after goal line save, specifically first killer. Now it's everybody putting in the effort to keep them alive in OT, but NRG, they have just been counterattacking after counterattacking. It has been ridiculous to see how fast they can turn around in this midfield. Here's Illusion, he's got Gary G in front of him, gets the demo on one, he's looking for Squishy. First kill is going to try and take control of this one, but Squishy gets it away from him. Now, Illusion and AJ, a little double commit in front of the goal. They need to sort out their rotations as Garrett G is going to look for Justin, who's looking for first killer. The physical Ooh. play becoming more and more important yeah. as this game goes on. As AJ gets a pass, Justin, it's up to Garrett G in this corner. He picks up new boost, gets the pinch out, but Illusion's got the read on him. He's looking to set up his teammates. Justin will kill, kill another one in the corner, and reset the rotations. Boost, such a valuable resource right now. Especially if you're FaZe Clan, because NRG have been running a huge offensive powerhouse in your own half, taking all the boost, getting some demos. Garrett G's looking oh. for a demo as well. This one did slip into the midfield. Oh. Garrett G gets the demo, but AJ equalizes and takes him out. Illusion missed this one. It's up to first killer. The loft out, but Garrett G's got a read on it. Justin's reaching for Justin's the crazy up. shot, and AJ reads Justin's touch. These free jumps from phase they're insane. Solution tries there. It, I, I'm, oh, it's squishy with an opportunity. What? AJ what? gets back. What? How? I don't understand. I, I, I think that Melon's maybe just squishy, not placing the ball well. Uh, AJ, there's no way he knew that that was where the shot was going to be. I mean, he was already up in the air. It was. Squishy Muffins, that was one of the best chances NRG have had. It was just right in the middle, and you want to applaud AJ, but also got to talk about the shooting accuracy of Squishy in that moment. 
Yeah, I think that one was more of a more of a squishy missing than an AJ mm. being clairvoyant here. As he's gonna look for bumps, finds one on Justin. He can't finds a little bit of a positional bump on Squishy as well. AJ now trying to find the plays into oh, the goal. Oh my it's goodness! The ball. Where's first killer? Oh, he's back in in the ground. He puts it onto the backboard. Illusion, not enough boost to challenge this immediately. He'll be on the first man now. First, first killer. killer with AJ again. He's on the so dribble. Much pressure from Phase. Is it a moment when energy cracks? Can they get out again? <laughs> no, still back into their corner. Oh my goodness! The hustle from Garrett G that I just witnessed, I've been on his camera. He went all the way into his own corner, then back across his net to get the touch when he knew his last man back was in a sticky situation. Maybe we'll see the same out of FaZe Clan as the double commit occurs. Oh. If Justin gets another touch in the midfield, it could be deadly. But of course, FaZe Clan, they are reading every touch out of NRG, no matter how threatening it looks. Wow, Justin here. The last man back again finds the stop as the rest of his team had gotten beaten. Squishy, he bumped him forward. Will be AJ to pick it up. Up against Gary G, just goes for the fake, takes it up against Justin. He tackles him into the corner. Lucian picks up the corner boost. Can they get the boost starve going again? A demolition, double demolition, it's only Squishy, but he's got so much space with the ball. He'll clear it all the way down the field and Lucian will get it away. The double demolition won't matter. That's where we talk about communication with your demos. You've got to inform your team that you're going for them oh and my. to express that they need to push up. That was a deadly one. Anytime you see, I mean, it could be any player right now on the field. If they're behind the ball, you don't know what they can do with it. If it's a flip reset that they get, if it's a mind game, maybe go for a slower dribble. Seems like the possibilities are endless for all six players on the pitch. We're about to complete an entire extra game here in overtime. And it genuinely has flown by. This has been excellent Rocket League. It's AJ here in the corner. He's got first killer to pass to. Looks for it. Justin puts it on the first killer. But then gets demolished by Garrett G. And Squishy gets taken out by AJ. In. Momentary 2v2. AJ has a Terminator medal. I've never seen that in an RLCS game before. <laughs> AJ now trying to get it through. What is this? This is incredible. Uh, it, it feels like it's just going to come down to an incredible mechanical play or one of the weirdest defensive blunders we'll ever see. You can't find an in-between. It's gotta be one of those two. I'm convinced. It, we've seen flip reset after flip reset, so many demos, but that isn't enough to break down the defense. We need something more creative. AJ demolished, squishy. Trying to take his time, but Illusion wins the challenge. His first killer airborne, he's trying, but Justin, Justin was there first. He's got it over the top, and AJ on that demolition will get it off of the backboard because of how far back he's positioned. Now Squishy onto the backboard again. All Here three comes Garrett are G. Try in, Justin. No, what? he's grounded. And Squishy has to fall all the way back to make a save. Felt like that was the chance for NRG. All three members from FaZe Clan were on the ground and in the net. The rotations had slowed down, but NRG, the midfield pass wasn't there. Maybe it is oh, here, though. They did it. it connects, and it's Squishy on the other end. No way! This one, we were, would it be a... Uh, AJ just slightly caught forward. And he's oh not able to stretch God. across for the pass. They catch him in a dual threat situation. Yeah. Wow! NRG! The experience pays off and they take the yeah. win here in game three. And that's such a routine play and a perfect opportunity for, I believe it was Garrett G behind the ball. Like you said, he's got two options. He can either continue with the dribble, go for the fake on the pass, and then just take the shot himself or try to get it out into the midfield. And I think AJ thought he was going to go for the dribble into the back of the net. As AJ, you, it's literally a coin flip. You just have to make a choice as to which option Gary G is going to go for. Unfortunately, if you're a FaZe Clan fan, he picked wrong and NRG were able to punish. Two players on FaZe Clan above four digit personal score. Obviously, long <laughs> oh game is going to make that happen, but that's, that's quite insane. a bit there. That's How many insane. shots is this? 22, 22 shots from Gen NRG. That might even be close to a record. I'm not quite wow. sure. That's that's a pretty impressive And 11 stat. from FaZe Clan. Uh, one thing to point out, though, across both series so far, NRG has only won overtimes. They have yet to win in <laughs> regulation. And that, yeah. that, that they are currently up in the series, though, 2-1. If FaZe Clan is able to push this, push up a nice lead in regulation, though, that spells just statistically spells a very bad situation for NRG. The mm. fact that it went to six minutes of overtime, do you think that that does better for NRG's mental or does worse for I, FaZe's mental? It's got to do much more uh, positive things. I'm like losing my mind right now with how crazy that <laughs> last game question, was. It's sorry. got to be better. No, absolutely. It's got to be a better, uh, a positive impact, excuse me, towards the mentality of NRG 
just because any long overtime, it's just such a big sigh of relief when you can take that win. As a player myself, anytime you had a long overtime, it is one of the best feelings. Finally, having all that time pay off. And if you are faced and it's the opposite, you're thinking, we wasted all that time, all that effort, and they weren't even supposed to be there. You had Illusion right. getting that own goal, going up for that challenge. Face Clan were supposed to win that previous game, but NRG stole it. Oh, man. And, and, and after AJ hit just one of the clean, it was such a simple shot, but such a clean, effective flip reset to give them yeah. the lead. Oh, it was so oh, pretty. It was so pretty. You, you can't as I feel like they cannot think about that right now. Here comes another shot. First killer. What a oh, read. Man. We were talking about AJ finding a block at the end of overtime. That one was brilliant. I think Squishy's getting frustrated too. I mean, a lot of his shots have been towards the dead center of the net. You can only imagine what will happen if he picks up that accuracy just a little bit. The power was there, but still finding the middle of the net. Here comes first killer. The block. Justin trying in the corner. Gary G demolished. Squishy hanging in a shallow third man. Wanted to keep the pressure going, knowing Gary G is going to spawn in behind him. Now, Justin. Onto the backboard, chasing this one. Nobody's home. Can he drop it down? Looks for a third one. Oh, and it's still cleared. They know Garrett G will get it. It looked like they were to block it for a second, but NRG are on top. I am so glad we get to see this for two reasons. The flip reset from Justin and also that save. I believe it was from first killer. Two amazing plays back to back. But in the end, it was NRG to get the follow up in time. And it's Garrett G behind the ball. That is what we were talking about in the previous series, Wavepunk. It's that follow-up from NRG, the second man coming through after that first shot comes out. It has picked up a lot with the pace, and I think a, a big part of it is because they're able to find boost now. And Garrett G, he's been aggressive. He's getting demos. This is what I wanted to see out of NRG if they started struggling to keep things close, was have Garrett G, the player who statistically gets the most demos, start to be physical. Oh, more demos coming out again, both sides. I, don't, I, I do want to... Oh, I wish I could remember which play it was. It was either AJ or Illusion that got a Terminator medal last game. We've never talked about that, and we're not going to get to because Garrett G puts in another goal here on the pass off the backboard. Justin and Garrett G, this is the duo at the moment. Justin does a lot of fancy footwork in the front with the Merc, which is something that we're not used to seeing. And then Garrett G can just come in for the cleanup as the janitor. I get that one. And now up by two. This is the best look we've seen from NRG in regulation yet this series or last right. series. But Face Clan are used to being here. They're used to being 0 2 down. They can definitely come back. We'll see them here in the corner. It's Garrett G. 3 1 first killer to try and chase this down. Justin takes it away from him. And Illusion now putting more pressure on the backboard. Garrett G will get there before any phase player could think about taking a shot. Now first kill looking for AJ who looks for the doink. No, Justin will get a block and carry it back out. Chasing this down. Oh, oh my reset. goodness. I, I think he got it too. We'll I mean, they're giving blocks. him space though. It's crazy. Justin has been repeatedly making these plays and still we have FaZe Clan a little bit too grounded on uh, on defense. Justin, a pre-jump to get in the way of AJ, and then maybe the follow-up dunk. He doesn't find it! Oh! And Illusion makes up for the previous mistake with this corner slot. Justin, not able to get the best clear. And Illusion, who made a switch Ooh. to Fennec this game, uh, will put in the first goal there for FaZe. We haven't seen Justin swap off the Merc yet, either. I thought maybe we would after uh, FaZe took a game, but no. You kind of thought it was maybe just like, like let's just get the energy back in. Yeah. Like, like, really shake things up, jump up. And, he's like, committed. In the face a few times, but no, I think he's like, hey, it's working. Let's keep it up. And I get it over the top of one. Here's Justin now looking for Gary G. No, just keeps himself. And a correction on uh, the medal I've been talking about. It was an, ex it's called, I've been calling it a Terminator medal. It's an Exterminator medal. Very similar words. But I don't think it's ever happened. It's when you get seven we'll demos in a single game. Very difficult thing to get, even if you try. Absolutely. Um, and for them to pull that off, I, again, I don't think I've ever seen <laughs> an And it an came out of nowhere. Every time I try to talk about it, though, energy scores again. Justin here picking okay, this he, up off of the pass from Garrett G. And again, it goes off of a phase defender. They're getting these yeah. pinch passes. Well, they're feeling the pressure right now. They have to get up early for these challenges and get in the face of NRG, but they can't find it. And then Justin is there to do some, like I said earlier, fancy footwork at the front as that striker. 
And whether he's forcing players from FaZe Clan to go at the ball and open space up for Garrett G, the second man in this in this current situation, or he's just scoring by himself, it is working wonders for NRG. Here's Lucian in the corner. Pass to one. First killer in AJ. They both commit on that. And here comes Garrett G on the other side. They get it past him, but Lucian able to close on it before Garrett G could regain control. Trailing by two. Phase with the most work ahead of them we've seen yet in the final minute. First killer gonna try and Garrett G with a Oh, Justin's there the though. Justin it's open. open. That not gonna miss. Wow. I don't think FaZe Clan have been expecting these clears out of Garrett G, and this one was actually a 50-50. Garrett G went right under the ball, timed his flip perfectly, and squeezed that one all the way to the other side. Justin is waiting, cherry picking to get that touch. And it's nice to see for NRG, a player downfield, haven't been able to see that from FaZe Clan, seeing as they haven't even gotten clears really to begin with. Maybe first killer can start something here with a 50-50. Overall, it's been awkward for FaZe Clan to get anything going. Yeah, this one has looked very much... This is a very, uh, very... Oh, what a touch! Day. Wow, that okay. a beautiful okay. shot here. 32 seconds left, only down by two. I'm telling you, this is this is all they need. This is double the time they had to get two goals previously oh. against SSG. They can do this now. AJ, it is so pretty, so fun to watch, whether it's a flip reset or just a classic redirect. It looks nice. That was gross. What a shot. Two defenders there, may, able to find a way around them. Now only down by two. You'd usually with 30 seconds count them out, but again, FaZe's comeback potential has been so strong yep. today. Justin here, looking for a redirect. Major to the outside, here's first okay. killer, and just sends it straight on target. Ooh. Guaranteed to clear it away, but Illusion's on the far side. Can he put another Ten one on target? 10 seconds left and squishy with a clear. Now things starting to feel pretty confident for oh, yeah. NRG. Five seconds left, they'll kill the time off the clock. And what a comeback. What a way to bounce back and finally win a game in regulation. They are on match point. NRG one away from resetting things and sending us to a yeah. third best of seven. And doing it in the same fashion with a 4-1 <laughs> win. It's literally an eye for an eye, exchanging the exact same blow to each other. And it has been so fun to watch because AJ has been forced in these awkward situations where he has to get these incredible touches to even get past the defense. And on the other side, NRG have unleashed Justin. I think with this Merc pick, I'm not even joking. It's like the, the mentality has cleared all, all anything that was a little bit foggy before. If you were uh, maybe a bit down on yourself, you swap cars, you start feeling yourself a little bit more and you're downfield more. And we've seen the past connection, a massive clear down from NRG side to the other where FaZe Clan resides. And of course, Justin is there to get a redirect. He does some crazy work and yeah. somehow it works out for NRG. It, it's crazy because when you we were like, all right, what does NRG need to change? Is, is there anything that they need to adjust here? Yeah. You know, and they're win, able to win games in overtime, but struggling in, in regulation. What can they do? I would have never in a million years said they need to start looking for pinch passes. Three of their four goals, at least. There might, the fourth one might have been there too. I don't remember it exactly, but three of the four goals were pinch passes that immediately turned into a shot with yeah. a phase player. That's such a different, like when we're talking about like energy's ability to adapt, like Crazy. what? Like that's, Crazy. that's the way they're adapting. Like let's just meet them at the point of contact and turn it into passes. Like, wow. But they unleashed Justin, okay? You know, we, we talk a lot about NRG. What if first killer gets released here? Okay, what if first killer starts to pop off? That's the crazy thing and that I'm so excited about this grand finals because yeah. almost any single player on this field can just pop off at any given moment. We could see first killer in this game start to change the tides similar to how Justin has been doing for NRG. We've seen uh, mainly, I think, AJ with the crazy solo plays yeah. this series. So first killer, yes, definitely grounded right now but only from his own doing. He had an opportunity there, but got bumped off the ball, and now a miss in the corner. will be up to Illusion. And 50s it with Garrett away. AJ now up for this, plays underneath the first challenger. Now Squishy putting it high. First killer taking his time, struggling to read the ball on the wall. Illusion's up for it, manages to get the touch before being demolished. Big clears there, but Garrett G is actually on the other side. Have seen boost in favor, and Garrett G is demoing again. This is the strategy that has been oh. working all series long. That Garrett G aggression as he turns quickly in midfield. Squishy has been the third man, staying farther back, trying to keep the pressure on and rotate in exactly when he's needed. Meanwhile, Justin, the front man, being aggressive. Garrett G, demo Ooh. heavy. And now Justin does get the save and keeps them all tied up. 0-0 zero, zero, under four minutes. 
Well, one of the first times we've seen the first minute come and go quietly in 10 games. First killer trying to turn on this one and take control. He used 66% of his boost just to get the ball to stop Ooh. moving towards his goal. And AJ has to clear it out to the side. Now here's Justin coming off the ceiling. Flip reset, but cleared away by first killer Gary G on the follow up. Going to get this one just barely. He tucks it under and RG will be on top. It's just been flip reset after flip reset attempt here. Justin went for the flip reset off the ceiling. Previously, Squishy was going for a flip reset, and then Gary G just says, no, all you have to do is just, is just slot it in like this, nice and easy. And you can tell FaZe Clan, they were all in the same spot. Their rotations, they're not spread out too much on the field. And a big part of that is because oh, they're just wow. not as comfortable oh. because of the mechanics from Justin. Justin and the Merc. Energy's gonna have to make a Merc decal after this. They're gonna, they're gonna change everything. <laughs> Squishy now. Locking one, here's Illusion to the outside. First killer off the wall. They'll try and fall on this, but couldn't quite get the spacing right, and Justin able to get second touch on him. Here's a play. Pass back out to first killer. Just takes the shot onto the backboard. Garrett G extends it. They'll look for the bumps on Squishy. AJ struggling to gain control of the ball in the air. Won't be able to make the first shot. Garrett G and Squishy will clear it out of the corner, but here comes Illusion. Squishy getting it past the entire front line. First killer having to clear it up from the back. Nice little touch there from Justin. Smacking it into space, but there's still a lot of hope here for FaZe Clan. Basically a, a reverse sweep now. What you would see in a best of five winning three games in a row to take this series win. They did it against V1 and Exet in the Swiss uh, stage. They can certainly do it again here. It's a difficult task against NRG, but Ooh. again, I want to see First Killer start to show up a little bit more here. Lucian, maybe go for those demos, do the dirty work that we saw in the previous series. First Killer's doing two demos, and Lucian takes out the third. Of course, you'd see a shot come through. Whoa. We finally do, but it's off the crossbar. First Killer doesn't find his mark. And that is not something we've seen from FaZe. Basically, this entire series is inaccuracy. They get another demolition. Can they find another shot out of it? To have a shot and to just straight up miss. FaZe might start to be cracking okay, under here the we pressure, go. but they will eventually get it through. The siege pays off and we're tied up. And this is how demos are so important because even if it doesn't directly lead to a goal, the impact it leaves lasts for about 20, 30 seconds because that person who got demoed as they get back in rotation and first killer, he's been in rotation. A nice little turn there in the corner, gets it back into the midfield. AJ's ready and we're all tied up. First killer with a response on the back line after the kickoff attempt. AJ now into this corner and he picks up the boost oh as goodness. it spawns. Taking to the sky, he's got Illusion to work with. He's just gonna go with the touches over the top. Ooh. Doesn't get the block. Is there any follow up? Here's Illusion trying to get control. He puts it over the top of First Killer. This works in Energy's favor. Here's Garrett G trying to gain control in the sky. Everybody needing two touches to try and take a shot. So nothing gonna materialize for either team. We'll go to the outside. Illusion now, AJ gonna try and chase his no. Illusion calls him off, takes the midfield boost. And it's just hounding energy into their own corner, looking for the bump and goal. He's going to just push Justin up the back wall. And Garrett G says, I don't care. Let's push it all the way out of our half. Good flick there from Garrett G. And I like the dribbling. Oh. But we've seen so many demos from FaZe Clan. What opened up that first goal. Under a minute left here, Wave Punk, all tied up. NRG sitting on match point to force another best of seven. Ooh. First killer versus Gary G, both up at the same time. It gets a fake out of him. Squishy trying to take control and AJ's there. Into this Go. corner, Gary G and Justin in front okay. of him. Kills the ball, can anybody tackle it? Justin's gonna dribble it out and FaZe respects Justin's control. AJ takes the midfield boost, 30 seconds remaining. And overtimes have been good for NRG in this series. FaZe needs to find a way to win in regulation. A demolition onto Gary G, but not before oh, he gets dumb. a long one. And Justin now with a response. Into the corner. 15 seconds left. Oh. Sends it to the crossbar. Just oh. waiting there for the corner. 10 seconds left. Oh. One counterattack is all it takes from one of these teams. NRG backs against the wall. The final few seconds. Are we going to get an overtime? A pinch from Gary G. He keeps it up, but it does fall. And we head into OT. OT here. Watch out for the kickoff goals. Oh, yeah. Lucian to the outside. Squishy going to have to fall back. An awkward challenge for him. And that boost he picked up on the kickoff will get expended just to get the ball to midfield. Now Lucian up against two, goes for the pinch, straight it to Justin. Justin holds his ground and gets the stop. 
Gary G with Justin downfield looking for bumps. Doesn't see Illusion coming. Gets shit, the ball challenged straight off of his hood. Now Squishy trying yeah. to get out of the corner. First killer gets it away. Illusion quickly turns on this one, but loses the challenge to Justin. AJ out of the backfield. Takes his time and uses the backboard to get it high. Here's AJ. I'm trying to get over the top of Squishy. Dunks on one, dunk on two, but Justin emerges with the control and wins another one in the chat corner. Does look like we're gonna go. see a repeat of what we've Whoa. been seeing all series long. Justin Just by himself, maybe he could do it with a flip reset. Does he get it? He Whoa. has it. It wasn't on target. Squishy tried to correct it, but again, we still remain in OT. The phase defense collapsed on that push. Justin, that was it. That was the opportunity. They had the opportunities, but not able to put it in. We'll keep going. Already had a six minute overtime between these teams. Illusion to the sky over the top of Squishy, just on the backboard. Not the best of touches, but he'll stick behind it. Oh, Block any follow up and then gets a bump. Falling out of the sky. AJ's going to try and chase this one down, but he got bumped by Justin coming up into the sky. So Squishy now with space. Garrett G with an opportunity, putting it on target. AJ with a stop, Justin up to follow, and AJ blocks him, but there's nobody there to take control. Right now, FaZe is in a one-man push. They have two people rotating back while one is challenging every time. Right, and it's the safest play right now because you want to have the ability to get those goal line pre-jumps, but if you're given space up to, to Justin, especially in the air, if he beats out that first defender, it could oh. be deadly. And also a pass from Justin to Garrett oh. D is deadly as well. And Squishy, oh. the follow-up, it's just wide again. Squishy can't get the accuracy in, but he does keep the possession forward. All three players of phase chasing this ball right now. They have to sort themselves out or it is NRG's game inevitably. And we're going to the third series. They're fighting for game six. Here we go. Justin. Squishy putting it high. A demolition on the first killer. But AJ yeah, stops one. He's got space. Squishy looking for the demo. What's he doing? NRG will put it in. Well done. NRG bounce right back. Prove everybody on the desk right and send us to a third series. Look at all the space Gary G has. And of course, he keeps his composure. The first touch is as perfect as you can get to have that setup, get the final shot into the net. Garrett G off of that demo, off of the aggression, all that possession from NRG. It just felt like we were waiting for them to finally slip through the defense of FaZe Clan. And we're going to another best of seven, Wave Funk. Another one. I You couldn't have it any other way. The name of the oh game for NRG has been overtimes. They've played yeah. six overtimes against FaZe and won four of them. All of the overtimes in the second series, NRG was able to clutch up and they win one in, over, one in regulation there in game four. Can you believe it? This yeah. is... Like th th to see them bounce back in this way after the dominant performance from FaZe Clan, FaZe has to use this time. We haven't seen any timeouts this whole series. Both teams. I, I, have, <laughs> this is crazy. I'm not surprised though, because it's like every single game is so unbelievably close. It's like, why would you want to time it out? You're, you're feeling good. Uh, the motion and the rotations, excuse me, are all there for each team. So why would you want to time out, Punk? Let's just get back into the action. And I just got to say, Garrett G. Garrett G has gone Super Saiyan in this series. He he has literally been put in a spot where he has to make the shot, has to find the accuracy. And I'd say nine times out of 10, he does find the finishing shot, putting NRG on his back because Justin's doing a lot of fancy flashy work, but it's going to come down to, to Garrett G to finish things off. What a series. And we're not even done, chat. We got no, one not. more no, best of seven. You win this one. No more losing allowed. You got to win finally. You win this best of seven. You're the regional champs for our first split of the fall major. We're going to go to a quick break. We'll be right back on the RLCS. You know how some carriers give you so little for your older busted phone you just end up living with it? I don't think so. Verizon lets you trade in your broken phone for a shiny new one. You break it, we upgrade it. You dunk it, doggy bone it. <laughs> Slam it, wham it, strawberry jam it. We upgrade it. Get a 5G phone on us with select plans. Every customer, current, new, or business. Because everyone deserves better. And with plans starting at just $35, better cost less than you think.
You know how some carriers give you so little for your older busted phone you just end up living with it? I don't think so. Verizon lets you trade in your broken phone for a shiny new one. You break it, we upgrade it. You dunk it, doggy bone it. <laughs> Slam it, wham it, strawberry jam it. We upgrade it. Get a 5G phone on us with select plans. Every customer, current, new, or business. Because everyone deserves better. And with plans starting at just $35, better cost less than you think. And welcome back to the Rocket League Championship Series brought to you by Verizon. This is the North American Open, and this is the end of the run here for this regional. I'm Leaf. Alongside me, Gibbs, Dazrin, and James Bot are returning to the desk here to break down what we just seen. And it's a good thing, Gibbs, that no one here flipped <laughs> because it, sure. NRG did bounce back. Man. Like energy, they didn't just bounce back. They they put up they put up a game, and we gotta talk about the Merc and Justin because <laughs> you Merc mains out there. Game one, Justin with the hat trick to win it. So Merc is now 1.4 goals per game in RLCS. So hey, <laughs> if anyone wants a car swap, maybe the Merc is the right choice. Face battles here or there. But at the end of the day, like energy was taking this personal, that's for sure. And they came back firing hot. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, this was the NRG that we expected at the beginning. They, again, just kind of cool, calm, collected. They took the phone, they threw it, and they locked in just like I <laughs> hoped so. And it worked out well for them. Now, though, these two teams are all tied up head to head in terms of games, right? FaZe has yep. five, NRG has five. It's going to come down to one series. I'm excited. Yeah, but the context, in my opinion, favors NRG. Like I said, w when Leaf asked us if we were going to switch picks, are you going to swap here? And I said, it's one thing to win a series in this situation. It's yeah. a different thing to close out a grand final. And, I, you know, I thought Illusion in particular was lost a little bit of the edge in that series. And mm -hmm. when you get into these situations where you're closing in that final mile, that last little bit, that pressure, that's when the pressure really can get to you. And so now all eyes are on phase. What are they made of? Can they bounce back? NRG seemed like they had the mental edge in that series. This is going to be a, an interesting one the way it ends out, no doubt. Yeah, with a 4-1 one way and then a 4-1 the other, everything's reset and it comes down to this final best of seven. Chat, I want to see where you stand on this one. It's time for the Verizon mm -hmm. fan vote one last time for the North American Open here. Hashtag NRG or hashtag phase. I feel like it's getting tighter and tighter as uh, as the series goes on. Both these teams showing they got that potential to take the crown. And uh, since we didn't before, I'm going to assume we're not going to have any flippers here. So I I'm going to see a James flip. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Daz, I mean, Daz why are we even asking? I mean, I'm, I'm just getting the through the motions. Time. Okay. okay. Right. Daz, Daz flip. Not going to flip. We're going to lock it in. <sighs> okay. Gibbs flip. The most interesting plot lines are when the hero loses in a movie and then they battle back by the end of the year. I want the interesting plot line. I want Captain America. I want Garrett G to lose to first killer, the villain right now. I'm going face. I'm this flipping. Is, that I'm was the wrong right way to say I'm not flipping. <laughs> no, I am flipping. I face. know. <laughs> That's go. what I'm saying. <laughs> Okay. Help. Okay. Yeah, all right. Yeah. I mean, Gibbs <laughs> just he wants to he wants to set himself apart as an analyst, and this <laughs> is something we're gonna have to hold him accountable for. When this fails miserably, we will remember. Gibbs. I just want the storylines, man. That, that's what I'm here for. I need something to say on the desk, all right, for the rest of the year. It's a long season, James. All right, <laughs> Daz, you're gonna be moving up the ranks soon. I'll, I'll see you in this seat soon. <laughs> that's all right. right. <laughs> I, I can't believe it. On. He's done it. I'm staying the same. I'm staying the same. So yeah, production you got that right there. Let's see what chat's doing though. Uh, I, I feel like it should still be an energy's favor, especially after that last one. It's back. It's higher than it oh, was. It's higher. It's higher than it ever was. 84% now in NRG's favor. And uh, it, I think that Merc made some some <laughs> some <laughs> some head start looking that way. Uh, especially uh, I was looking at that. I'm like, James, you got to be proud. I, I mean, <laughs> I am, you know, I, and I'm always a little bit sad in my heart though. Cause there was a period of time where the Merc's hitbox was phased out and it came back and it's, so it's different. It's a different hitbox mm -hmm. than it was. It, what used to be the octane. Now it's got its own class sharing it with the battle bus. So, you know, it's a little bittersweet for me, <laughs> but I love seeing Justin rocking it and he looks comfortable in it. I'm sure that this is not his first time in a Merc. 
Well, I'm sure Turtle and Wave Punk are ready for what's coming their way. Everything on the line here. They're waiting over in the Verizon Skybox. FaZe wins the first series. NRG bounces back. Now it's down to one best of seven. The crown is on the table here. And the real question is who takes it, NRG or FaZe? Leaf has a lot of confidence in me. I and, and us, I, I am not ready for whatever's about to happen here. <laughs> me the biggest question me to me, uh, Turtle, is does Justin stay on Merc? Exactly. That's what, that's what I was going to say. I'm more interested right now. What car are we getting? Okay. You got the Merc. That's what worked so well and brought the momentum back in your favor for NRG. What does he go with uh, this time? He is stuck with the van. It's okay. not a meme okay. anymore. It's it, it's not it's not a meme if it works. I think like it's at this point it's a real thing. One yep. last best of seven between NRG and FaZe. They've gone to game five in the first two. Oh man! Each of them have five wins. Well, actually, I guess each of them have yes. Each of them have five wins at this point. So yeah, the first of four here will take it all for our first regional. I mean, we've got everything in this first regional final. We've got the drama. We've got the car switch to Merc. You know what I'm saying? Those are the two things we only need. We don't need anything else. That's all we need for a grand final to go all the way. And I'm here for it. <laughs> We've got just those two things is all we need. <laughs> That's all it is. I love Especially it. Especially the Merc. Especially the Merc. I love it. It is it is a budding rivalry that could span the entire season. And and also I want to just talk oh my Just Justin trying to dribble here as Garrett G gets a demolition onto Illusion. Gibbs making the giga brained play and saying phase is gonna win this crazy crazy a after he wants getting after losing after watching energy bounce back it's typical typical gibbs fashion okay we don't want to question the gibbs i certainly do not but justin has something to say about that i'm sure if he has any space off the backboard and just to talk about phase clan a lot of us are questioning their ability to close out uh you know tough and close games and just think they got here in two best of sevens, one against Envy and one against SSG. They managed to close those games out. It's a little bit different in a set, but still we know they have what it takes Whew. to have that clutch factor come through here in these individual games, Wei Punk. AJ has switched to the stock tane for this game. Gary G, the only Fennec on the field. AJ now to the backboard. Gary G demolished in the corner. will strengthen Energy's back line. Illusion and first killer in the midfield. Trying to advance. They've got Squishy Bamboozled Garrett as well. Justin sitting waiting for boost in the corner. It's bumped off at a little bit. Three minutes left to go in game number one and no goals yet. AJ not gonna be able to chase this one at first killer. Quickly turns back as he sees Squishy airborne. Double commit from phase in goal, but a miss from Squishy in the air. We'll give some space. Now back. First killer versus Squishy. Over to AJ. Oh. Shot from Justin, defended by Illusion. You'll have to see the passing, and now I'm wondering what type of NRG and face clan will we get for NRG? They won that last series off of pretty much just aggression from Garrett G with the demos. Justin going up for a lot of mechanical plays as the front man. Garrett G being able to uh, follow up a lot of these shots too. Squishy, the third man back. Meanwhile, face clan, they won that first series off of some incredible aggression from Illusion. First killer, of course, was slotting every shot it seemed like into the upper right hand corner and aj was doing what aj does best and that's winning every battle in the air like that in the midfield they have been excellent on the challenge game and in general phase has been very accurate but i feel like tell me if you if you agree with this i, I feel like phase has been slowly faltering yeah. slowly showing more weakness as this series has dragged on oh. as another one goes in here squishy scores the first goal of the third series and as soon as you mention it, FaZe Clan, their energy depleting a little bit. This is a midfield shot from Squishy where somebody certainly has to be in position. I'm looking at Illusion, and I believe it was First Killer there matching him to get that save. Illusion was talking about recently, and even JamesBot said it on the desk, how they didn't think he performed too well in the previous series, looking to bounce back. We don't see that from the first goal, but maybe he can make a stance and make a statement as time goes on. Squishy to Justin. The outfield pass is accurate. AJ has to dive across to make the save. And Garrett G will pick up control on the other side. Two touches into the box. Illusion now reaching for AJ to extend it over the first defender. Looks for the bumps on Justin. Gets them both airborne. But Squishy picks up the clear and sends it the entire length of the field. No amount oh. of being out of position for NRG will matter here on a great touch. And they're getting it past phase in the midfield over and over again. More pressure onto the goal line. 
And maybe that one goal from Squishy, just seeing his name pop up like that, will give him some confidence. His striking is something we critiqued a lot in both two series, I would say. And if he starts finding the back of the net and starts placing these shots a little bit better instead of directly in the center, the power is there. If that accuracy comes through, it could be over for FaZe Clan if we don't see first killer start to pop off alongside AJ. We all sit and wait for first killer's arrival. Here he comes through one. Justin out to Garrett. AJ gonna try and intercept and he'll get a block so it goes to the other corner. Illusion and first killer get entangled up on top of each other oh, and Garrett man. will bump first killer off the ball. AJ able to collapse on it and now onto the backboard. Garrett G doesn't oh, make contact miss. but Squishy picks it up. Phase respecting the defensive positioning of NRG yep. and not challenging in their box. And it's a good sign there for NRG that the communication is coming out. Garrett G mentioned and most likely said in uh, in comms, excuse me, that he was going to miss that clear. Squishy had his back. So a safety net has been put in place on defense as Squishy is that third man back. Ten seconds left. One to nothing. NRG just have to hold on and they take the first game. This is the way phase one, game number one of the series back three years ago. Can NRG do it again? Can NRG match them? And they will. NRG, the general NRG taking it down in game number one. A great start. Man, and you can see the frustration on the on the face cams for FaZe Clan. First killer looking a little bit confused as to what to do moving forward. This is a frustrating NRG you're up against where the defense has, I would say, flattened out and stabilized, certainly. We're not seeing weird, uh, slower pace from the NRG defense. If you think back to the FaZe Clan first series win, there were a lot of midfield passes from FaZe Clan where nobody on NRG was ready to challenge and they just had a yeah. free shot. We're not seeing that here in this first game, Wave Punk. The NRG defense are ready to challenge and are in position with full boost, might I add, to, to go up against FaZe. Yeah, and I think there's even a world where like a timeout early in the series for FaZe could be a really strong move yeah. given that they, you know, you'd be like, oh, they just had a 10 minute break. But the 10 minute break you come back from and they're, they're, you're not quite sure exactly when you're going to start here. They could come have a conversation, say, here's what, here's what we're going to do. Here's our game plan. Let's reset and then immediately jump into game two and enact that plan, not give any time for mental rigmarole to Absolutely. affect them. I don't know. It, it, might, it might be something we get to see here, but NRG is looking very much in control. And as this series goes on, it's the the, the dominance and the experience of this roster has yeah. begun to show itself more and more. I, I think I really think it comes down to illusion. Like as much as I talk about first killer and AJ popping off, uh, both respective in their own respective, they are, are great players that you have to be fearful of. But illusion coming out and doing a lot of the work that goes unseen, like taking boosts getting aggressive with demos. He's kind of doing what Garrett G is doing right now for NRG, uh, but Illusion is not usually the man who follows up and is the janitor. Ooh. We'll see if Illusion can step it up. I want to see him get more involved in the play and bring it to NRG. AJ to the outside. Garrett G now through the sky, trying to do it by himself. Gets it into the box and dangerous. Illusion will lock for, but here's Justin onto the backboard. Justin. AJ's Nobody's there. Can he find it? No, Squishy comes in for the block, but AJ blocked the follow-up shot. Oh my Squishy. Not able to get it there. Justin also not able to double tap it. Gary G had so much space too. Has that ball rolled back to him? Was just looking to force a 50-50 across the net for Justin. A slower approach here from Garrett as he looks to take some boost. Squishy maybe rotating in. Again, stuck in the phase half as they look to break out. First killer, what's he got? A flip reset. Maybe a pass in the midfield. No, it's answered by Justin as they're early to get into those passes like I was talking about. Here's AJ off the ceiling, now looking for bumps. All three members oh of NRG on the goal line. Can they get up in time? That will block the follow-up shots. Squishy, rotating back as first killer, takes the dribble into the sky. Here comes Illusion with a shot. Whoa, oh, placed. there it and is. And the accuracy is back. NRG struggling on the goal line. We'll see Faze score first. This is dangerous, especially if you're a fan of NRG, to see Illusion come out here with the accuracy, the follow-up. He finds it, and maybe this is where he starts to step his game up and provide for FaZe Clan a little bit more on the offense. 3.47 left to go. Game number two. NRG took game number one with one goal. Now FaZe looking to bounce back as Illusion. Onto the backboard, Garrett G there. Gets it past first killer and a double demolition. Garrett Nobody G. in the backfield. He's just going to take Solo a whole dribble. Can he find the dunk? No, AJ off the respawn. Gets the stop, and they'll keep themselves in the lead. Such a weird play there to see Garrett G just stay under the ball instead of trying to put it on his hood. Definitely should have opted for a flick, but regardless, they're going to have to look to get another goal. Garrett G is still hunting for boost. 
We've got AJ with space in the air. Oh, AJ past one, but G off the back wall from the corner. Makes the clear. Squishy and Justin here. Justin demolished. AJ puts it in, but the player who maybe could have positioned himself to hit the follow-up was going for the demo instead. So nobody home to take the shot on the open net. First killer to AJ. Extending to the backboard. Oh, double kill. Oh, man. Illusion stops this one. And now closing up on two players. Beats Justin. Does he find the bump on Garrett? Squishy will pick up ball control and find Justin on the outside. What a transition from NRG. And we'll see if it gets met with the goal. But there was a demo on first killer. Squishy looking for something in the corner. Tosses it out to the midfield. NRG. They look good, but not too many shots have been threatening that FaZe Clan backboard and goal. Ooh, Justin looking Ooh. for the dunk. Squishy under the backboard. Maybe Garrett right here. Up for it, but AJ gets it over the top of them. Illusion and AJ flying down the field, and Justin gets the stop on both of them. First killer completely misreads the ball. He's completely out of position. Onto the Just backboard. Illusion the backboard. Squishy just sues it. An open net. NRG manhandle him from beginning to end. And this is what NRG do best. Shot after shot, they find the rotation to stay in place. Everybody's getting a piece of the action, finding a shot and eventually something will slip past the defensive line of FaZe Clan. Well, I think that it really did begin though with first killer in the third man, moving up into no man's territory and just being completely out of position. The rest of FaZe kind of panics after oh, yeah. Garrett G gets control. Well, I've noticed the backboard is left wide open a lot as well. Yeah, it, 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 the, the positioning has been slowly deteriorating here. And I feel like first killer is less and less relevant on the offense. Which is a huge statement in and of itself because first killer, you, you think about him and what he brings to this team as a new player. You expect that kind of firepower. Maybe he'll heat up. Here's AJ onto the backboard, looking to do it all by himself. Oh nice drop goodness. onto two defenders. Stops it back into the box. Illusion's there Illusion. to tie it. No, to take the lead. 127 left to go and faces back on top. Illusion has been picking up the pace and the positioning, and it's all thanks to AJ. He hovered behind that ball and still got the flip back in the middle. That is ridiculous for him to land like that, recover, find the pass, and also for Illusion to be ready for it. Into the face of two defenders as well. Phase not going away. Oh, yeah. AJ has been the leader on this offense. Demolition. That's, still that's not what you want, too. I'm telling you, Illusion was having a rough game. A rough couple of games in the last series, but the confidence has got to be shot up for him. He's feeling good. It's Garrett G. It's the backboard. Squishy here, looking to receive and dribble. First killer to take it away. Now follow back behind this, gets it on one, but Justin able to beat first killer. The longer read. Now first killer looking for the tap. Ooh. Towards the goal, Justin with a monster flick away. NRG, though, has to get back on offense, trailing by one. It's AJ across and off oh. the crossbar and down. Resolution to try. 35 seconds left. It's all up to NRG. First killer and Garrett G. Garrett with the speed. He had to win that challenge. Squishy as well had to get a touch there. But first killer, Ooh. what is he doing on the backboard? Ooh. Making plays. Oh. That's what he's doing it's because in. it's working. I was questioning what this man was doing all the way on the other side. Look at but that. he made that touch out to Illusion and everybody got a piece of it. It's one of those like you're going through the corner. You can, instead of going for demos, take up the enemy's backboard Crazy. space. Deny that space from them and see if you can find a pass to your teammates. Works out for him. Now up by two with 20 seconds left to go in game two. So creative from FaZe Clan, and they were willing to be risky in that situation. I think there was also another player close to first killer. Ten seconds left. If that goal went in for Justin, maybe there'd be a chance, but I think the gap is a little bit too big here for NRG, and they're going to have to go back to the drawing board for the next game. We'll burn the clock down. Ball touches, and FaZe equalize the series. Three series in a row. We've oh, seen man. game one go to one team and game two go to the other. Actually, every single one of them, it's been... No, no, okay. Series one, I almost misspoke. Phase one, the game one in the first series, and then energy one, game one in the in second. But here, still, tied series, a back and forth. So we go to game three. My brain doesn't even go that far back at this moment. It's just I'm too hyped up right now on the plays that I'm seeing with with the potential on the field. I think that's what I would describe. This is it's just It's just the potential. Every single player can just pop off, and I love to just sit here and wait and see what unfolds. It started out for NRG with the typical backboard pass where we got a follow-up from, uh, yeah, Squishy. 
But that's all we saw. Face Clan then yeah. amped it up. Aleutian, the cleanup crew, putting away two goals. Then AJ with that weird pass out into the midfield where he was able to recover. First killer, what are you doing on the backboard making it work? Face yeah. Clan are here and they're ready to make this go to game seven. Yeah, the phase, first killer uh, on the bottom of the scoreboard here for FaZe is only offensive stat. Well, he has three shots and then one assist, but that one assist, a doozy there um, as they were able to score quite the stylish goal. We'll see them in game three here, continuing to put pressure on NRG. But this is where things started to kind of like, I feel like game three was a big turning point in the last two series. Yeah. Game one would go one way, game two the other way, and then game three would really start to set the tone. So. Absolutely. Very look, waiting with anticipation to see which team takes this game by the horns. It's just a question as to uh, what type of aggression do we get from each individual player? It's like Gary G has kind of pushed back a little bit, not taking as much boost. Meanwhile, Aleutian has gone on the full offensive uh, strategy where he's just taking on oh. the boost. Pushy is there, getting a the nice little read. The power wasn't enough. Aleutian got there in time for the save, but NRG are looking to strike first. And that is why you rotate. Illusion oh out of his goodness. corner, sweeping across. Here? here comes Squishy for another shot. He's a pass to oh. Justin. Justin was not ready for that pass. And the ball gets lofted. They'll keep their position on the field, but lose another opportunity to score. On well, that pass is so fast, too. I don't think Justin had time to react. It was a laser. No, no. That basically needed to be directly on his nose. Yeah. That'd be a picture perfect pass. This first killer off the wall. Here comes FaZe. Pollution slows this down. Challenge goes Garrett's way. AJ now out of his corner, losing the challenge to Squishy and then bumping Squishy away as they wrapped around. Now Garrett G into the midfield. Nobody's there from his team. Justin's going to try and close from the My side. Demo. He'll get the demolition onto Illusion, but that before Illusion touches it out. Now Squishy picking it up, going to the sky with it, getting over the top of AJ, looking Woo! for a double tap first, killing with a block. No follow up. Justin was trying to put pressure on in the net, and Garrett G hanging back, not willing to get counterattacked on will stay scoreless with 3.30 left to go. Oh, and the patience from Garrett G to recognize that first killer had the control, even though it was a weird spot and a tricky situation for first killer, Garrett G didn't bite and was waiting to keep the pressure forward. Things have slowed down a bit. You can tell that these players are prioritizing that first touch to maintain possession because they don't want to concede on a quick counterattack where you get intercepted in the midfield. Justin over the top of one. Garrett G has to hit his brakes real fast to try and gain control, and first killer is able to take advantage of that. Illusion trying to find bumps on Squishy is way loose in enemy territory. It's all up to oh, AJ the who finds a great block. Squishy put the pressure on, but the follow-up shot there. Now Illusion got back in time. He'll flick it out to first killer. Pressure on the net. Looking G. for goal number one. It's in. Squishy was in the rotation to find the save, and Garrett G knew that if first killer got a piece of this ball it was going in but Gary G didn't have any boost either squishy seconds away in that rotation to be in position to phase clan that's the counter attack that you've got to be scared of if you're NRG so quick to get those one two passes and one on target Demolition on a Justin. Garrett G nearly also demoed, but he'll manage to gain ball control and get it over the top of a defender first killer now chasing this one out in the first man Machine. AJ didn't move up, but Squ Justin beats him to it, and Illusion has to play it off the backboard. Where is AJ? Gary G putting pressure on him. Illusion over one. What a neutral challenge. Oh, it's nice Gary back G. pass, but AJ, he's just in front of it the whole time. Yeah, I mean, when, when he back passes like that, and a player's already supersonic chasing the ball. I don't know. He's, he's just able to fall right behind him. You give him a perfect second touch situation. Phase holding on to it. Energy just trying to stay in control. And, and th this has been such a neutral game. Yeah. It, often, I feel like at any point in the series, I've been able to tell you who I thought had the momentum, who had the edge, who was the favorite. But right now, this feels so even. Oh, that's but it. Illusion, NRG's defense. Where were they? Illusion has been stepping it up. Garrett G needed to get oh. a better touch there. You can even see the trust that Justin had in Garrett G to rotate around the corner and not stay in net. Garrett off the ceiling. It didn't bounce the way he expected it to. Right down to Illusion, who has been stepping it up in every aspect of the game. Teammates are definitely proud of him. AJ over one. Garrett G now out of his corner. Trying to take this one slow, put it under AJ. AJ gets a bumper onto it, now putting more pressure on him. Garrett G to the outside. Here's AJ through two. Solution 
Circles around the midfield, picks up Boosin, is now going to attack this ball. Nobody's up to challenge him. Can he get the flip reset again? He does, oh, but he's Garrett off G, the, the ball, miss. not able to use it. He's able to fake Garrett G into thinking that it was coming. But the follow-up was there from Squishy, and then he gets it out to Justin, who dribbles it the entire length of the field. Just looks like NRG are waiting for a moment where FaZe Clan overextend, but that's not coming out, especially with a two-goal lead. FaZe Clan are more than happy to play a bit more passive. So for NRG, their backs are against the wall. They need to make a more aggressive and risky move moving forward here. Otherwise, they're just going to let the clock run down and FaZe Clan will take the lead. AJ to the sky now with two players challenging him in front. Justin's up for this. Doesn't have any help behind him. Gary G's going to try and shadow, but Illusion will pop it over the top of him. Squishing out from the far back. 30 seconds left. Inches oh. across the field. If it was on target, oh, I think man. that was a goal. That would have been ridiculous for sure. Those are the type of plays we need. Might be a little bit too late though. 20 seconds left, Waypunk. They're down by two. They've got to score on this touch. Garrett G's got to put this in. It. It's up and high. Follow up could be good, but they've lofted it so much. The altitude going to kill any momentum. First killer got behind it as well. And as the clock's expired, Illusion's not going to let this ball go. Bouncing back down. Timer going to drop to zero. And we'll see FaZe win two in a row as they take game three. Scary situation, NRG. How are they going to bounce back? They didn't want to be too aggressive. A lot of times I would see Justin going for those crazy plays like normal. Justin was staying aggressive as that first man, but Gary J and Squishy kind of both in the same position, falling back, not finding uh, a spot next to Justin to capitalize off of Justin's weird 50-50s. They were too far as that third man. It seems like they're playing the same position here. I want to see that swap up, but again, Illusion, I'm happy for this man. He has stepped it up yeah. completely. Man, this is... My goodness. Uh, it's such an even series right now. A few mistakes from NRG on defense in this game, but we yeah. saw similar mistakes from FaZe in the previous games. I, I do genuinely think, Turtle, that the length of this series is starting to wear on both teams. Oh, absolutely. It, it, it seemed like... In the second series, FaZe Clan ran out of juice, but now they came back from that 10 minute break, fired up. Illusion definitely needed the break for NRG. Oh man, it's it's so hard because that last game was a much different pace than what we're used to. So I'm still yeah. trying to really uh, break it down and figure out where things went wrong for NRG and where it went right for FaZe Clan because it was so slow in comparison to what we've seen. Not as many demos, uh, a lot more patience from each team to wait for a mistake. So maybe that's the play style that we're falling into as we wind down in this last best of seven. As you get more and more exhausted, just, just risk aversion becomes more yeah. and more the strategy. And we saw like the two goals that got scored by FaZe. One was the long counter attack onto an empty net first killer with a nice stop here in game four. And the second one was Garrett G with a less than ideal clear off the ceiling that turned into a pass. First yeah. teammate after Squishy had just straight airballed. So it is like the mistakes are what's leading to goals right now. And just playing defensively really could spell it. But oh, first killer! Oh. This is the, uh, the X Factor finally coming alive. We have been waiting for this man to pop off and look at the control, the display in the air, off the backboard, follows it up. That one wasn't off a mistake from NRG. That was first killer by himself. Long have we waited. NRG dehydrated first killer activated here in game number four for goal number one. AJ's gonna chase this one down, but FaZe gonna feel a renewed energy after the stylish goal from their teammate, the new pickup. As Justin passes to Garrett G. NRG gonna try and put pressure on and immediately equalize his game. I like that challenge though from Garrett G. We didn't see any of that in the previous game, maybe. He's turning over into a, a different play style here. Could see some aggression. I still think that's the only way that NRG can beat this phase roster right now is with Gary G matching the aggression of, of Justin. Somebody's got to be there. Oh. And Justin gets the demo, the turnaround then oh. to find the shot. How did he turn around so quickly? Look at this. What? Please show Justin in the replay. Wow, oh, you don't really get to see it, but, he, but oh. bouncing off the player gave him the momentum to turn what? around and instantly make the shot. That was incredible. And he also wave dash after he got the demo. Justin, the demo turned him around, but then he needed the speed, used that extra flip he got because he got popped up into the air, a complete 180. 
And that's as creative as it gets. Man, it, it, we, we've talked a long time about Rocket League being an improviser's playground. This is a game for the people yeah. who can think quickly on their feet. Justin is the best. How do I use this demo to turn me into a shooter right now? But the oh, pressure on the other side. Goodness. Illusion takes advantage of the bounce over Garrett and tucks it into the corner. Oh, man. The positioning from Illusion. He also got the bump on the defender. That is incredible. Illusion is stepping up. I keep on repeating it because he's showing up on the stage when it matters most. These guys score you gotta too give fast. Credit. They score too fast. Yeah. We're still geeking out about the last goal, and then they do more amazing things. Oh, no, oh. a miss on defense. Justin just didn't believe and wasn't there for the shot. He takes it. He puts the, the, his bumper on the ball, but it bounces off the crossbar. Oh, yeah. Oh. Somebody, like... It's, it's kind of similar play styles. We've got first killer being aggressive and being annoying with these crazy mechanics. And then Illusion is following it up perfectly. That's what I want to see on the other side for NRG, specifically Justin in that first killer role, then Garrett G oh. finding what Illusion is finding. Here's Squishy. Put it high. Justin now to chase this one down and pass two phase defenders. AJ's alone in the backfield. He's on the backboard go. and a nice pop from the inbound retreating defense. Squishy, put this one onto the backboard. Justin, a surprising touch. First killer adjusts. He gets the pass to AJ. Nice infield pass, oh. broken up by Garrett G. The front line defense standing strong. It was getting so awkward. Squishy actually just took a, a boost from Garrett G, and they were both in the same spot. But luckily enough for NRG, Garrett G managed to get in position, find a challenge, and here he is behind the ball. A lot of space in the air. Maybe something else Ooh. off the backboard. Squishy has full boost, just going for a better 50-50 to set up Justin, but it's too far behind. And FaZe Clan still escape. It, it looks so good for NRG. They get the setups, they have solid touches, some space in the air, but nothing to show for it. Squishy. Through one and back out. Justin to the sky and first killer to the outside. Here's Justin taking another shot in the field. field. Illusion covers up the shooter and Garrett G has the half flip out of there. He actually recorrects when he realizes no one from FaZe is taking the ball and he moves into the corner now and now looking for bumps on the backboard nearly finds Illusion. Oh but my goodness. The clear comes through. FaZe gets out of it. That challenge from Illusion was huge all the way from his own corner. But hold on a second, Justin. Maybe a 1v3 okay. dip, dribble. He does get a bump on Illusion. Oh. FaZe is starting to really step up their challenge game, especially in their back third. It's giving them a lot of space yeah. and breaking up so many of the opportunities for NRG. I mean, this Illusion. is ridiculous. It, it, it's been a lot of pressure from NRG, don't get me wrong. FaZe Clan are handling it flawlessly, though. Oh! That's a good pass, a one-two connection. But the accuracy, falling short again. I, they, they, they could, if they place it at the corner, it's an unblockable shot. But even with where it was placed on the upper shelf, Illusion getting up for that. That is a, such a hard passing play to read. And then no! Tragedy! Garrett G own goals here. 39 oh seconds my. left. What is going on? The pressure starting to get to NRG. Garrett G jumped up for it, anticipating a bounce that would go down and in. You don't want to blame him too much for that, but. At the end of the day, that one would not have gone in. That, that one's got to hurt. Oh, man. With 35 seconds left. That's a two pain. Goal, a two-goal lead in this series has been almost as good as a win. We've seen it come back from a few times, but generally, we're not seeing more than that. Yeah. With 22 seconds left, Energy's got to score now. There's a chance, Justin, into the midfield. Garrett G backed off a bit, and then he just went for the early chip shot. Oh. oh. They're so oh. desperate right now, Wave Punk. Anything. They're trying to throw it <laughs> at the other opposition's net, but it's not enough to break down that defense. It is not. They got some missed positions out of phase in those final moments, but we're not able to collapse and capitalize. The clock is at zero. The game is over. This last hit ball touch is just a formality. It'll finally hit oh, the ground. Good. Phase takes three in a row and are on match point. One away from becoming our first North American regional champs. And what a statement. I'm sure we were coming into this series and even the desk, you know, said that this is what they expected, okay? You won one series. This is what James Bot said. You won a, a series, but can you close out the set? And we all saw NRG bounce back in series number two. You expect them to stay with that momentum, but FaZe Clan, they have made a change. They've adapted the defense showing up. First killer starting to pop off. Illusion's positioning has gotten better. 
And AJ's been a little bit quiet. I think AJ, he's obviously gotten some incredible saves on defense, making work. But in terms of offense, AJ's been a little bit quiet, but that's fine. That's a good sign. You can still utilize him whenever you want to. Yo, but that Justin goal, though. Popping off the defender, off the oh, yeah. demo, popping back that, around, immediately great. taking the shot. That, that one should be worth two, right? Just saying. Yeah, like it, come on. It, 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 <laughs> that's so stylish there. What a player. And, and this has been, honestly, both teams can hang, their, can hold their head high after yeah. the series. No matter how this goes, this has been such a battle. There is no question in my mind that FaZe is one of the teams to beat in North America after watching them here. NRG obviously has been one of those top teams for so long right now. If FaZe is able to win this, they make such a statement. And if NRG is able to come back and beat them, it just speaks to the strength and the depth of this roster. Oh yeah, and the mentality. They've been in situations like this before. Oh. They've constantly been competing in the oh, finals. Man. Gary G, the follow-up from Squishy Muffins. Maybe this is where we start to see Squishy ascend to the top of the scoreboard wave. Yeah, catastrophic uh, kickoff there for FaZe. And First Killer's not able to get it around the post. It just bounces off straight back into the middle and Garrett, he's got that read and a lead here for game number five. We have yet to see game six in this series or in this set. Can they get us here in the third one? Oh dear, a dangerous bounce. The Squishy's terrified to move towards it. Maybe maybe the Mercs losing the power for Justin. Haven't seen a car swap yet. Not even a decal swap, I don't believe, but not too oh, familiar with the Merc decals. <laughs> <laughs> there, there, it's not as deep of a pool as the Octane yeah. decal, I will say. <laughs> Going to the backboard. Resolution. Oh, a miss. First killer will lock today. AJ, he's up well before Garrett G is. He'll okay. get on the backboard, but Squishy's Whoa. there. He catches wonderful control from Squishy. Oh, that's scary. That's what I was that's what I was trying to allude to a little bit. Is we've seen first killer and illusion start to make moves on offense. Maybe it's AJ's turn, but on the other side, it might be Squishy's turn to get a little Ooh. bit more aggressive. Justin in the midfield. Nice touch back to Garrett G, who's a little bit too late on the challenge. Man, this is back and forth. AJ up, but gets bumped off the ball. Garrett G. Picks it up, first killer. Moving out, bumping Squishy as well on the rotation in. That'll leave an open net, and it's nearly oh. in. Squishy, what a save. I think it was probably going to bounce out anyways, but still, wonderful effort. And here's Illusion. He's putting more pressure on him. Doesn't go for the bumps. Goes for the boost grab instead. That boost starving play from FaZe. Starting to become all again with the infield pass, but blocked at the point of contact. Any follow-up. This ball is just lofted in the sky. A double commit from FaZe. That leaves one player in the back. He's got to play cleanly. And squishy has to make... Somehow that challenge worked with about 30 boost. Talked about the boost starving play from Illusion. It was definitely hurting NRG. They're still Ooh. in, in uh, really the thick oh. of it, trying to battle out of their own half. A demo from First Killer doesn't lead to anything. Squishy has full boost up for this challenge. He does get the dunk. NRG finally take it to offense. Is that in? Justin will find it. It was on target though. Squishy's up. AJ waits for this ball to come to him and has to take an extra bounce. Energy is going to try and move forward on this, but AJ with the air dribbles. AJ's control in the air has been such a, a, a used tool in this series. Yeah. This has been so consistent. Follows oh, from Justin, Justin, though. AJ off the backboard. My goodness. Give this man the medal already. Look at how fast that FaZe Clan counterattack as well. Whenever you have a shot come out from NRG, it, it's a goal line save, and you are just having a sigh of relief if you are the FaZe Clan fan here. And then Ooh. they instantly turn around and have a shot on NRG's net. FaZe Clan explosive out of their own half. Oh, Ooh. did you see the double, the change up from Justin goes for the slow shot. And First Killer says, nope, I got you. Got you right all the way. Stalls it out himself for the block. And while I'm geeking out about FaZe's defense, they are still down 1-0 in this game. While they're on match point, they got to find some goals if they want to put it away right now. NRG knows See? losing this game is the end of the tournament for them. They've got Justin to hold on no to this lead. Boost. Oh, Justin just went up for a, a shot, but didn't have any boost. It worked as a fake. Now he does have boost, goes for the challenge. Squishy's there oh, to oh, meet oh. him after. And things look so scary, Wave. Oh. It's so hard oh. to tell who has the upper hand. Oh. You're on one half of the field, and then within a matter of seconds, you're back on the other side. First killer. 
We'll see phase. Oh, he gets demolished out of the corner. Illusion gonna try and put pressure on AJ. He's gotta fly back here. His first killer respawns in the fortunate corner. He'll fit into the rotation cleanly here and fly across the field to take control. Trying to give it to AJ. One minute remaining though, and NRG was still the only goal of the game. There's a miss from Justin. A pass out. Killer. First killer tries, but Garrett G blocks what a read. him. Justin out of this corner. Trying to give it to Garrett. Garrett what? flips. Illusion to the outside. 45 seconds left. Will it come back to haunt him? Oh, that could have been the security they needed. NRG. They had the passing connection. Oh! Garrett G's left alone on defense. He barely has any boost left. Oh. But he makes the touch. It bounces off the backboard. And they have a few seconds to breathe. 30 seconds left. AJ off the ceiling. Looking for the pass to first killer. No, he went for the fake. And Garrett G read the fake. Illusion now falling back. Has to gain control. He's got Squishy breathing down on him. He's got first killer to help him. But Squishy saw first killer coming. He'll go for the block oh, man. on the second man. Now AJ. Down to first killer. Back up to AJ, but it's behind his teammate. 10 seconds left. Illusion trying to push in. Can they find the goal in the final seconds? A nice pass back. Oh, and Justin's it's alone. Justin. No, Justin gets a bumper oh, oh, oh. onto it. The clock is down to zero. He'll leave it on the ground. NRG win game five. We oh, go to game six. The patience from this man, Justin. I was on his cam for the last minute. He did not go for a single challenge, it felt like. He was just waiting in his own half, giving so much space to FaZe Clan, which is dangerous, but FaZe Clan weren't aware of it, didn't go for those dribbles. Justin did get the final save, and we continue moving forward in this final best of seven wave punk. Oh. I'm losing My it. Goodness. I'm losing I'm getting, it, man. I'm getting lightheaded from just how intense these matches are. First killer, we've talked about him being quiet this entire series. He was the only player with shots in this match. Five yeah. shots from him, the entirety of the team. Ooh. Only seven shots from NRG total. Ooh. Man, the, the, the defense was incredible. I really hope they will show the, the one with the change up from Justin as well. Yeah. It, was, it was just, my goodness. This has it's, been brilliant. <laughs> I love watching games like this. Uh, and series like this, especially when they go the distance, because it's so uh, it's so likely to swap playstyles within a matter of seconds. Because we just saw in those replays, there were many times where all players from each team were just grounded, waiting for a dribble, waiting for a slow play. Then who knows, maybe as we get on Neo Tokyo, we get this high-flying aerial action demo uh, impulsive game where everybody's just going for physical play after physical play up in the air. Who knows what we're going to get? We've got NRG, FaZe Clan. It has to go the distance wave. It has to. There's no it, other it, way. They have broken the patterns. In the first two series, the team that got to match point won it in the next game. And here, NRG was able to hold off FaZe. And for the first time in the finals, we'll see Neo Tokyo. Justin with just bananas control out of this corner. His half flipped and somehow kept the ball on his hood. And then first killer now to chase this down, to push it right 100%. back the other way. Garrett G gets a block. Justin's loose in the goal, but there's no pressure from FaZe yet. Now Illusion to loft it. He's out of boost, and Justin really rough in the oh. tank as well. Everybody playing small ball here as Squishy finally picks up boost. And he'll take it to the sky, try to push the advantage he's got. Squishy getting confident in the air as well, going for a fake, trying to throw FaZe Clan's defense out of order a bit. Maybe Justin has something here off the sidewall. Saved out from first killer and a slower play from Garrett G on the dribbles. We have a little bit of a grounded gameplay, but surely something is going to pick up Ooh. in the air. Here's Lucian. First minute coming and going. Justin and Garrett G pinching this high and Squishy's going to try and move in on it, but I don't think that play's going to work out just yet. And here's First Killer with the soft touches. He's out of boost, oh but does Energy goodness. know it? A demo oh, demo to Illusion Double and demo. to AJ. It's all to First Killer. He gets back in time, and the players respawn and will take over control. Here's Illusion through the sky, through the counterattack, onto the backboard. Oh. Can they find a follow-up? No one's there. Justin, straight back down. End zone to end zone play from our players. I feel bad for the third man <laughs> of whoever that is on these teams because it's constantly swapping. But you've got to be on your guard every single second because this ball could just fly into your net from any corner, from any spot on the map. You've got to be ready. AJ, off the backboard. First killer back down. FaZe, prowling in front of the net. Lucian and Garrett G send this one long ways down and Squishy tries to reach for it. AJ's got the dunk on him and Justin has to adjust here, leaving space for Garrett G. He'll get it in neutral. First killer. First killer moves in on it, goes underneath. Oh, one, underneath two. What? Squishy somehow saves it. I don't understand why this saw. 
How did that not go in? First killer got the follow-up off the ceiling, the pinch. Then saved by Squishy. That should have been a goal with the creativity, the mechanics all connecting for first killer. And yet we're all tied up, zero, zero. I'm losing it, Wave. That should have been in. I don't know how it stayed out. That was, I don't understand either. I don't. I, I need the replay breakdown. It's Justin trying to connect with his teammates. AJ will block him across halftime in game six. Here's Gary. Faze just need a Downfield. lead to win the series and take the first regional here. Oh bounce back goodness. down. AJ, it goes over his hood. He couldn't read in time. Illusion under the backboard. Justin's going to miss. No, he gets it off the bounce. First killer. Picking up two, still got his boost at the tank. Can he get the flip reset? Finds it, but no, doesn't quite get all four wheels down. Squishy has been the savior for NRG. He just got another goal line save where he's the last man in defense, rotating in, needed to get the touch, and he does. But how long will it last when Face Clan oh. keep putting mechanics and throwing crazy shots at the net? AJ, underneath one with the fake. Now pass what? two and in! AJ through the entire defensive line scores the first goal. Oh my goodness, taking a couple of notes from Turbo Pulse's goal previously, getting the follow up oh. in the flip. It's on target. I mentioned crazy mechanics earlier, and there's some more for us to watch. AJ, the first goal on match point for FaZe Clan. No, don't let it be in. It's in. Oh. Justin on the kickoff. Ties what? it right back up and neutralizes the brilliance of AJ. Oh, and it's the cheat he just got in front of first killer. I don't know if we got to give credit to the Merc for giving <laughs> Justin that extra confidence going into that challenge, but he absolutely obliterated first killer on that. Can we talk about the shot placement? Like, oh, yeah. literal picture perfect. And now on the other side, oh, what? that's another one. What is what going is on? I don't, I don't understand. We are in. The last best of seven. Stamina is getting tested. Everybody exhausted right now, but you have to stay consistent with your defensive line. Otherwise, slip-ups like that are bound to happen. I think we've seen one kickoff goal all three series. And now we've had two in a row back to back, which this is insane. Is, is this fatigue starting to kick in? Or is it I mean, team got, saying, let's just go for it? And it working out. First goal oh with the dribble to the other side, it's just wide. AJ and Illusion right on top of each other. They need to find some space. Uh, AJ will just win the challenge. How about it? That'll work too. Illusion trying. Oh. And all of a sudden, NRG can't win a challenge. Oh, AJ got the demo. Thought maybe Justin would find a clear. We haven't seen too much dribbling out of NRG. They're just panicking, looking for clears. You just saw it at, at Justin looking for a booming hit across the map. But FaZe Clan pushed back a bit in the midfield. They're keeping possession, starving out NRG. This is not a good look, especially when you have 50 uh. seconds left. The tournament life in grand finals on the line here, Wave. It's hanging there. 42 seconds left. FaZe has the lead. NRG has to see game seven for a chance to win. They're playing defense right now, but they've got to get back on offense. Final 30 seconds of game six. AJ and first killer both Gary up G. for this one. Gary G gets oh, a pass. Two people. Illusions there. Justin. Can reach this. What a read. Squishy's nowhere to be seen. 20, 20 seconds, seconds left. First killer. Over the top of one. Garrett G in the back. Long booming touch and Squishy doesn't it know what something. to do. It's to that the it? empty backfield and first killer's there. The demolition on Illusion will help, but they've got to find more. Final 10 seconds. Justin. Justin with a shot. Blocked at the point of contact. AJ trying, but no. First killer has it on the outside. To the edge. Keeping it up. Zero seconds on the clock. Can they put it in the ground? It'll touch and face That's Clan it. win the first regional of North America. They battled through the Swiss stage going three and one. They were put through the game seven ringer against Envy and SSG. And finally, they take the win here against NRG in a thrilling set. Oh, oh. what a series and what a sigh.